This list contains persons named in the Bible of minor notability, about whom either nothing or very little is known, aside from any family connections. A Aller Aller, in the King James Version, appears in 1 Esdras 5.36, as one of those who came up from Thermalith and Thelerses, who could not show their genealogical records. Instead of Aller, the NRSV reads Amur. Abdeel Abdeel Abd Hebrew Abdel, servant of God. Akin to Arabic Bidi al Abdullah is mentioned in Jeremiah chapter 36 verse 26 as the father of Shelemiah, one of three men that were commanded by King Jehoiakim to seize the prophet Jeremiah and his secretary Baruch. The Septuagint omits the phrase, and Shelemiah son of Abdeel, probably a scribal error due to Homoiatalutin. Abdi The name Abdi Hebrew Abedi is probably an abbreviation of Obadiah, meaning, "...servant of YHWH", according to the International Standard Bible Encyclopedia. Easton's Bible Encyclopedia, on the other hand, holds that it means, "...my servant". The name, "...Abdi", appears three times in forms of the Bible that are in use among Jews, Protestants, and Roman Catholics. There is also one additional appearance in 1 Esdras, considered canonical in Eastern Orthodox churches. 1 Chronicles 6 verse 29. And on the left hand their brethren the sons of Merari, Ethan the son of Kishi, the son of Abdi, the son of Malak. 2 Chronicles 29 verse 12. Then the Levites arose, Mahath the son of Amasai, and Joel the son of Azariah, of the sons of the Kohathites, and of the sons of Merari, Kish the son of Abdi, and Azariah the son of Jehalelel, and of the Gershonites, Joah the son of Zimah, and Eden the son of Joah." Ezra 10 verse 26 and of the sons of Elam, Madaniah, Zechariah, and Jehiel, and Abdi, and Jeremoth, and Elijah. 1 Esdras 9.27, where the name appears in the Hellenized form Oabd -e -ios. Of the sons of Elam, Mathanias and Zacharias and Arilos and Obadios and Erimoth and Elias. According to Shane and Black 1899, the two mentions in the books of Chronicles are of a single individual, and the mentions in Ezra and 1 Esdras are of a second individual. <laughs> Abdon. Abdon Hebrew Abedwin from Abad, to serve, is the name of four biblical individuals. It is a diminutive form of the name Ebed. An Abdon in the Book of Judges, see the article Abdon Judges. The first born of Gibeon of the tribe of Benjamin, mentioned only in passing in genealogies 1 Chronicles 8 verse 30, 936. Abdon the son of Micah. Josiah sent him, among others, to the prophetess Huldah, in order to discern the meaning of the recently rediscovered Book of the Law 2 Chronicles 34 verse 20. He is referred to as Akbor in 2 Kings 22 verse 12. Abdon son of Sashik. He is only mentioned as a name in a genealogy 1 Chronicles 8 verse 23. In addition to its use as a personal name, the proper name, Abdon is used for a Levitical city mentioned in Joshua chapter 21 verse 30 and 1 Chronicles chapter 6 verse 74 659 in some versions. Abiasif Hebrew Abiasif, my father has gathered, was a son of Korah of the house of Levi according to Exodus chapter 6 verse 24, born in Egypt. Ebiasif is a spelling variation of Abiasif. Abida Abida or Abida appears twice in the Bible, as a son of Midian. Nothing further is said about him in the Bible. Abijah Abijah Hebrew Abia. My father is YHWH is the name of eight biblical individuals. Abinadab 
Abinadab, Hebrew Abinadab, my father apportions, or the father, i.e., God of the clan, is munificent, refers to four biblical characters. Where the Hebrew text reads Avinadav, Greek manuscripts of the Septuagint read M -E and Adab or Aben, but Brenton's translation of the Septuagint reads, Abinadab. A man of Kirjath Jerim, in whose house on a hill the Ark of the Covenant was deposited after having been brought back from the land of the Philistines. It is most likely that this Abinadab was a Levite. The ark remained in his care for twenty years, guarded by his son Eliezer not to be confused with Eliezer, the son of Aaron, until it was at length removed by David. The second of the eight sons of Jesse. He was with Saul in the campaign against the Philistines in which Goliath was slain. One of Saul's sons, who perished with his father in the Battle of Gilboa. Abiel <inaudible> <inaudible> Abiel, Hebrew Abiel, my father is God, was the name of two individuals mentioned in the Bible. Son of Zerer, of the tribe of Benjamin, he was the grandfather of King Saul and of his commander Abner. 1 Samuel chapter 9. An Arbathite, one of King David's warriors who was known for his bravery. 1 Chronicles chapter 11 verse 32. Topic. Abimael. In Genesis chapter 10 verse 28, Abimael is the ninth of the thirteen sons of Joktan, a descendant of Shem. He is also mentioned in 1 Chronicles chapter 1 verse 22. Abimael means, God is a father. <laughs> Abitub The name Abitub or Abitab appears only once in the Hebrew Bible, in 1 Chronicles 8 verse 11, where it is used for a character said to be the son of Shaharaim, in a section on the descendants of Benjamin. Abiad The son of Zorobabel and father of Eliakim Adah Hebrew, Adah modern, Ada, Tiberian, Adah, adornment. The first wife of Lamech, and the mother of Jabal and Jubal, Genesis chapter 4 verses 19-23. The first wife of Esau, the daughter of Elon the Hittite. It has been suggested by biblical scholars that she is the same person as Bashamoth the daughter of Elon the Hittite, mentioned as a wife of Esau in Genesis chapter 26. She bore Esau's firstborn Eliphaz, and became the matriarch of the Edomites. Genesis chapter 26 verses 34, 36, 2-4 The order of the eastern star considers Adah also to be the name of the daughter of Jephthah, although the Bible does not name her. <inaudible> Adalia Mentioned only in Esther chapter 9 verse 8, Adalia is the fifth of the Persian noble Haman's ten sons. Adalia was slain along with his nine siblings in Susa. In various manuscripts of the Septuagint, his name is given as Barsa, Barel, or Berea. Adbeel Adbeel Hebrew Adabiel, disciplined by God. Nadbeel or Idibelu, was the third son of Ishmael out of twelve, Genesis chapter 25 verse 13 the name Adbeel is associated with the personal name and northwest tribe in Arabia known as Idibelu, whom Tiglath Piles are conquered in the 8th century BCE, Kenneth A. Matthews, 2005, p. 361. <laughs> Adi He is the son of Kosam and the father of Melki. Topic. Adina In 1 Chronicles chapter 11 verse 42, Adina lit. Slender is listed as one of the mighty men of David's army. Adina was the son of a chief of the Reubenites named Sheza. Topic. Adlai Adlai is in Hebrew Adelaide, meaning refuge. In 1 Chronicles chapter 27 verse 29, he is the father of Shaphat, and the grandfather of the prophet Elisha. He is mentioned only in this verse. Admatha 
Mentioned only in Esther chapter 1 verse 14, Admatha is an advisor to Ahasuerus of Persia. According to one theory, the verse has suffered from scribal error, and as it originally stood Admatha was instead Hamdatha, not an advisor to Ahasuerus but the father of Haman. Admon In some translations of Luke chapter 3 verse 33, Admon is an ancestor of Jesus, the father of Aminadab and son of Arni. Adna Adna is the name of two biblical characters. The first is one of the men in the book of Ezra who took foreign wives. The second is a priest, named as the head of the priestly family harem in the time of Joachim. Adna Adna is the name of at least two individuals in the Hebrew Bible. Adna, called Ednaz or Ednaz in Septuagint manuscripts, is credited with being a commander of 300,000 soldiers in the army of Jehoshaphat. He is found in 2 Chronicles 17 verse 14. His name is spelled with a final he. Adna, called Edna in the Septuagint, refers to a member of the tribe of Manasseh who deserted Saul to support David. His name is spelled with either a final he or else a heth, depending on the manuscript. Adul Adul, according to the Book of Tobit 1-1, was the great-grandfather of Tobit. The Book of Tobit is included in some Christian Bibles, but it is not included in Bibles historically used by Jews and most Protestants. Shane and Black claim that, Adul is, no doubt another form of Adil. Edias Edias, a descendant of Elah, appears in 1 Esdras 9.27 as one of the men found to have married foreign women. 1 Esdras appears in some Christian Bibles, but not in the Bibles used by Jews and most Protestants. In the parallel verse in the Book of Ezra, 1026, the name, Elijah, is found. Agi Agi was the father of Shammah, who was one of David's mighty men 2 Samuel 23 verse 11. Based on interpretations of 1 Chronicles chapter 11 verse 34 and 2 Samuel chapter 23 verses 32 to 33, Agi was either the grandfather of Jonathan or his brother. According to Shane and Black, his name is a scribal mistake and should read Elah. He is the same as the Elah mentioned in 1 Kings chapter 4 verse 18. Topic: <laughs> Agaba For the Agaba of 1 Esdras 5.29, see Hagaba. Ahab Ahab Hebrew, Ahab which means, brother, father, is the name of at least two biblical figures. Ahab, seventh king of Israel Ahab, son of Koliah, who, according to Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 21, was labeled a false prophet by YHVH. Aherhal In 1 Chronicles 4 verse 8, Aherhal Hebrew Aharael, behind the rampart, is the son of Haram of the tribe of Judah. Ahasai See Ahasai Ahasbai Ahasbai, the son of the Mahathite, was the father of Eliphalet, one of King David's warriors 2 Samuel 23 verse 34. Ahi Hebrew Ahi, brother, kindred of YHWH. Ahi is the son of Abdeel in 1 Chronicles 5 verse 15. Ahi is the son of Shomer in 1 Chronicles chapter 7 verse 34. Topic: Ahian. Ahian is the name given to a descendant of Manasseh in the tribal genealogies of 1 Chronicles. The name appears only in a single time in the Bible. 
Topic: Ahiezer. Ahiezer, the son of Amishadai, was the leader of the tribe of Dan and one of the leaders of the tribes of Israel mentioned in several places in the Book of Numbers. Topic: Ahilud. Ahilud is the father of Jehoshaphat, who serves as court recorder to David, 2 Samuel chapter 8 verse 16, and Solomon, 1 Kings chapter 4 verse 3. In 1 Kings chapter 4 verse 12, Ahilud is the father of Bana, an official in Solomon's court sent to gather provisions in Tanakh and Megiddo, and Beth Shan. Topic: <laughs> Ahimoth. Ahimoth appears in 1 Chronicles chapter 6 verse 25 verse 10 in some Bibles. It is the name given for one of the descendants of Kahath the son of Levi. Topic: Ahinadab. Ahinadab Hebrew: Hind Ahinadab. My brother is noble. Or my brother has devoted himself. Son of Iddo, is one of the twelve commissariat officers appointed by Solomon to districts of his kingdom to raise supplies by monthly rotation for his household. He was appointed to the district of Mahanaim 1 Kings 4 verse 14, east of Jordan. Ahiram Ahiram was a son of Benjamin according to Numbers 26 verse 38. Topic Ahisamach. Ahisamach or Ahisamach, also Ahisamach (Hebrew: Ahisamach, brother of support) of the tribe of Dan, was the father of Aholiab according to Exodus chapter 31 verse 6, Exodus chapter 35 verse 34, and Exodus chapter 38 verse 23. Topic Ahishahar. Ahishahar is the name given to a third generation descendant of Benjamin, the eponymous forefather of the tribe of Benjamin in 1 Chronicles chapter 7 verse 10. This figure is mentioned nowhere else in the Hebrew Bible. Topic: <laughs> Ahishar. Ahishar, Hisar in Hebrew, meaning brother of song or singer, the officer who was over the household. Of Solomon, 1 Kings chapter 4 verse 6. Topic: Ahitub. Ahitub is the name of several minor biblical figures. Ahitub, son of Phineas, grandson of Eli, and brother of Ichabod, 1 Samuel chapter 14 verses 3, 22, 9 to 20, 1 Chronicles chapter 9 verse 11. Ahitub, son of Amariah and father of Zadok, 2 Samuel chapter 8 verses 15 to 17. Ahitub, a descendant through the priestly line of the first Zadok. He was an ancestor of later high priests who served during the fall of Jerusalem and after the exile, 2 Chronicles chapter 6 verses 11 to 12. Ahitub, a Benjamite, 1 Chronicles chapter 8 verse 11. Topic: Ali. Ali is a name given to two individuals in the books of Chronicles. In the opinion of Thomas Kelly Shane, the name is probably derived from Ahiel, or a similar name. The first is either the son or daughter of a Jeremielite man named Shishan. The second is the father or mother of Zabad, who is listed as one of David's mighty warriors in 1 Chronicles 11 verse 41. Ahazam. Ahazam or Ahuzam is the name of one of the sons of Ashor, the father of Tycho, in a genealogy describing the descendants of the tribe of Judah. He is mentioned only in 1 Chronicles 4 verse 6. Ahazith Ahazith or Ahazah is the name given to an associate of Abimelech, king of Gerar, in Genesis 26 verse 26. According to the book of Genesis, Ahazith accompanied Abimelech when Abimelech went to make a treaty with Isaac. He is mentioned nowhere else in the Hebrew Bible. Topic: <laughs> Ahzai. 
Ahasai is a name which appears only in Nehemiah chapter 11 verse 13, where it is mentioned in passing. The verse refers to a priest, called, Amashsai son of Azrael son of Azai son of Meshilamath son of Amur. In the parallel name in 1 Chronicles chapter 9 verse 12, the name, Jezera, replaces Azai. Aya Aya Falcon, was the father of Rispa, mentioned in 2 Samuel chapter 3 verse 7 Aja In Genesis chapter 36 verse 24 and 1 Chronicles chapter 1 verse 40, Aja, is a son of Zibion. Aja means hawk. Alternative spelling, Aya. Akan In Genesis chapter 36 verse 27 Akan is a son of Ezer and grandson of Seir the Horite. In 1 Chronicles chapter 1 verse 42 he is called Jachin. Akab In Ezra chapter 2 verse 45, Akab is the head of a family of Nethanim. In 1 Chronicles chapter 3 verse 24, Akab is a son of Elianani, descendant of Solomon living in the kingdom of Judah. In 1 Chronicles chapter 9 verse 17, Ezra chapter 2 verse 42, and Nehemiah chapter 7 verse 45, Akab is a Levite gatekeeper at the temple in Jerusalem after the return from the Babylonian captivity. Topic: <laughs> Alexander Alexander was a member of the Sanhedrin named in Acts chapter 4 verse 6 as part of a group before whom Peter and John were required to give an account of their healing power, following their arrest on the day of Pentecost. <laughs> Alone In 1 Chronicles chapter 4 verse 37, Alone is the son of Jediah, of the family of the Simeonites, who expelled the Hamites from the valley of Gedor. Alva In Genesis chapter 36 verse 40, Alva is a chief of Edom and a descendant of Esau. In 1 Chronicles chapter 1 verse 51 he is called Aaliyah. Alvin In Genesis chapter 36 verse 23, Alvin is the eldest son of Shobal and a descendant of Seir the Horite. In 1 Chronicles chapter 1 verse 40 he is called Alian. Topic: Amasa. In 2 CHR 28 to 1-4, Amasa is the son of Hadlai and one of the leaders of Ephraim, 2 CHR 28 to 12 during the reign of the evil king Ahaz. Topic: Amasiah. In 2 Chronicles chapter 17 verse 16, Amasiah, meaning burden of Jehovah, was the son of Zikri, a captain under King Jehoshaphat. Topic: <laughs> Amaziah. In Amos chapter 7 verse 10, Amaziah is a priest of Bethel who confronts Amos and rejects his prophesying against King Jeroboam II. As a result, Amos is led to prophesy the doom of Amaziah's family, the loss of his land, and his death in exile. Jonathan Magonet has described Amaziah as a spiritual leader who believed in his own power and could not risk hearing the word of God. Topic: <laughs> Aminadib. A person mentioned in the Old Testament in Song of Solomon chapter 6 verse 12, whose chariots were famed for their swiftness. It is rendered in the margin, my willing people, and in the revised version, my princely people. <laughs> Amizabad Amizabad was the son of Benaiah, who was the third and chief captain of the host under David 1 Chronicles chapter 27 verse 6. Amon Amon, Hebrew, Amen Amon was a city governor in the time of kings Jehoshaphat and Ahab 
Amos The tenth generation grandfather of Jesus through Joseph, according to Luke chapter 3 verse 25. Topic. Amzi Amzi MC is a masculine Hebrew name meaning, my strength, or strong. Two individuals with this name are mentioned in the Bible. 1 Chronicles 6 verse 31 indicates Amzi as a Levite man of the family of Merari. A son of Zechariah was named Amzi. He was an ancestor to the Levite priest Adaiah Nehemiah chapter 11 verse 12, who was one of the Israelite exiles under the direction of Nehemiah when he returned to Jerusalem to rebuild the city walls. Anna In the book of Genesis, there are two men and one woman named Anna. In Genesis chapter 36 verses 2, 14, 18, 25, Anna is a daughter of Zibion, and her daughter Ahalabama is a wife of Esau. In Genesis chapter 36 verses 20, 29 and 1 Chronicles chapter 1 verse 38, Anna is a son of Seir and a brother of Zibion chief of the Horites. In Genesis chapter 36 verse 24 and 1 Chronicles chapter 1 verses 40 to 41, Anna is a son of Zibion, and is famed for discovering hot springs. Aniah Aniah, a name meaning, Yahweh has answered, appears only twice in the Hebrew Bible, with both appearances in Nehemiah. The first appearance describes Ezra, a Jewish reformer, standing up to give a speech, with thirteen other people standing beside him. Aniah is listed as one of those standing by. The second appearance of the name is in a list of people who signed a covenant between God and the Jewish people. Topic. Anak Anak was the father of Ahiman, Sheshai, and Talmai in Numbers chapter 13 verse 22. Topic. Anon Anon was one of the Israelites who sealed the covenant after the return from Babylon Nehemiah chapter 10 verse 26. Topic. Anani. Anani is a name which appears in a genealogy in Chronicles. It refers to a descendant of Zerubbabel. According to the Masoretic text Anani was born six generations after Zerubbabel. For scholars, this six-generation span after Zerubbabel is the terminus a quo for the date of Chronicles. It implies that Chronicles could not have been written earlier than about 400 BCE. In the Septuagint, Anani is listed as eleven generations removed from Zerubbabel. For scholars who believe that the Septuagint reading for Anani's genealogy is correct, this places the earliest possible date for the writing of Chronicles at about 300 BCE. Antothea Antothea or Anthothea is a name which appears only once in the Hebrew Bible, in a genealogical section listing descendants of Benjamin. It is most likely an adjective used to describe a female person from the town of Anathoth. Manuscripts of the Greek Septuagint give the name as Anuthath, Anathathia, Athian, or Anathatha. Aphia Aphia, of the tribe of Benjamin, was an ancestor of King Saul and of his commander Abner. According to Saul, his family was the least of the tribe of Benjamin. Topic. Apim Apim is a minor figure who appears in 1 Chronicles 2 verse 30 and 31. He appears briefly in a genealogy of Jeremielites, in which he is the father Ishi, son of Apim, son of Nadab, son of Shammai, son of Onam, son of Jeremiel. In manuscripts of the Septuagint, he is called Ephraim, Aphaim, or Apim. Era is the name of two minor biblical figures. The name may mean, wayfarer. Era the son of Ola appears as a member of the tribe of Asher in the part of the books of Chronicles devoted to outlining the genealogy of the twelve tribes of Israel. In the book of Ezra and the book of Nehemiah, the sons of Era are a group listed among the Ritternees to Jerusalem in the time of Nehemiah. Shechaniah, a 
son of Shechaniah, was the father-in-law of Tobiah the Ammonite. Ard Ard Hebrew Road was the tenth son of Benjamin in Genesis chapter 46 verse 21. It is relatively unusual among Hebrew names for ending in a cluster of two consonants instead of as a segholet. Topic Areli. Areli was a son of Gad, according to Genesis chapter 46 verse 16 and Numbers chapter 26 verse 17. He was one of the seventy souls to migrate to Egypt with Jacob. Topic Arnon. Arnon was a descendant of David, father of Obadiah, and son of Rephaiah. Aradi Aradi or Arad was a son of Gad according to Genesis chapter 46 verse 16 and Numbers chapter 26 verse 17. He was one of the seventy souls to migrate to Egypt with Jacob. Asariel Asariel, according to a genealogical passages in the Book of Chronicles, was the son of a figure named Jehalelel or Jehalelel. Asariel and Jehalelel are mentioned only briefly, in a section of the genealogies adjacent to the descendants of Caleb, although the relationship between them and the descendants of Caleb is uncertain. <laughs> Ashbel Ashbel Hebrew, Spounational is the third of the ten sons of Benjamin named in Genesis. He founded the tribe of Ashblites. Aziel Aziel is listed as one of the descendants of Simeon in 1 Chronicles 4 verse 35. Azrael Azrael was a son of Manasseh according to Numbers chapter 26 verse 31, Joshua chapter 17 verse 2, and 1 Chronicles chapter 7 verse 14. Topic: Aser. Aser was a son of Korah of the house of Levi according to Exodus chapter 6 verse 24, born in Egypt. It was also the firstborn son of Jehoiakim, king of Judah. Athaiah Athaiah the son of Uzziah is a person listed in Nehemiah as a Judahite inhabitant of Jerusalem. The meaning of the name is uncertain. Athali Athali, a descendant of Bebai, is listed in the Book of Ezra as one of the men who married foreign women. The name is a contraction of Athaliah. In the equivalent list in 1 Esdras, the name Amathis or Emathis appears in the same place. Topic: <inaudible> Azalia. Azalia is mentioned in passing as the father of the scribe Shaphan in 2 Kings chapter 22 verse 3 and the copy of the same verse found in 2 Chronicles chapter 34 verse 8. The name means Yahweh has reserved Azania Azania is mentioned in passing in Nehemiah chapter 10 verse 9 10 in some Bibles as the name the father of Levite who signed the covenant of Nehemiah. The name means, Yahweh listened. Azariah Azariah Hebrew Zariah Zeryahu, God helped. Son of Nathan, was appointed by King Solomon to be over his deputies. 1 Kings 4 verse 5. For Azariah the priest see Azariah high priest. Asgad Asgad is the name of a Levite who signed Ezra's covenant. The name means, Gad is strong. Azil. See Jaziel. Topic Azor. The son of Eliakim. 
Topic: Azan. Azan, Hebrew Azan, strong, was the father of Paltiel, a prince of the tribe of Issachar, Num 34 to 26. Topic: B. Topic: Bana. Hebrew Bana one of Ishbosheth's army captains 2 Samuel chapter 4 verse 2 Bana the Netophathite was the father of Heleb one of King David's warriors 2 Samuel chapter 23 verses 29 1 Chronicles 11:30 Bana the son of Ahilud was one of Solomon's 12 regional administrators having jurisdiction over Tanakh Megiddo and Beth Sheen 1 Kings chapter 4 verse 12 Bana the son of Hushai, was one of Solomon's twelve regional administrators, having jurisdiction over Asher and Aloth 1 Kings 4 verse 16. Bara Bara was one of the three wives of Shaharaim, according to 1 Chronicles 8 verse 8. Barachal Barachal was a Buzite, and was the father of Elihu, an antagonist of Job, according to Job chapter 32 verse 2. <laughs> Barkos Barkos was a painter who was the father of some of the Nethanim, according to Ezra chapter 2 verse 53. <laughs> Barzillai Barzillai, iron-like, the Gileadite of Rogalim was 80 years old at the time of Absalom's revolt against King David. Barzillai supplied provisions for David's army at Mahanaim, 2 Samuel chapter 17 verses 27 to 29. After the death of Absalom, being an old man, he was unable to accompany the king back to Jerusalem, but brought Chimam to David for the return journey, 2 Samuel chapter 19 verses 31 to 37. Another figure who married one of Barzillai's daughters was called Barzillai as a result Ezra chapter 2 verse 61, Nehemiah chapter 7 verse 63. In 1 Esdras 5.38, he is called Zorzelius. Basemuth Hebrew, sweet smelling or sweet smile Basemuth, wife of Esau, and daughter of Elon the Hittite Genesis chapter 26 verse 34. She is thought to be identical to or a sister to Adah who is mentioned in Genesis chapter 36. Basemuth, another wife of Esau, daughter of Ishmael, sister to Nebajith and mother of Rule Genesis chapter 36 verse 3. She is thought by some scholars to be the same as Mahalath of Genesis chapter 28. Basemuth, the daughter of Solomon, a wife of Ahimaaz, 1 Kings chapter 4 verse 15. Topic. Becker Becker was the name of two individuals mentioned in the Bible. The second of ten sons of Benjamin according to Genesis chapter 46 verse 21 and 1 Chronicles chapter 7 verse 6. A son of Ephraim according to Numbers chapter 26 verse 35. His descendants were referred to as Bachrites. Bechorath. Bechorath, son of Aphia, of the tribe of Benjamin, was an ancestor of King Saul and of his commander Abner. According to Saul, his family was the least of the tribe of Benjamin. 1 Samuel chapter 9 Topic. Bela Hebrew, Bl Bela backquote, crooked. Bela was the name of three individuals mentioned in the Bible. Bela ben Beor, an Edomite king according to Genesis chapter 36 verse 32 and 1 Chronicles chapter 1 verse 43. Also, Bela, the first of ten sons of Benjamin according to Genesis chapter 46 verse 21, Numbers chapter 26 verse 38, and 1 Chronicles chapter 7 and 8. A son of Azaz according to 1 Chronicles chapter 5 verse 8. Topic. Ben Abinadab Ben Abinadab Hebrew Bn Bin Ben Abinadab My father is liberal 
was one of King Solomon's twelve regional administrators, he was over door, and he was married to Taphath, a daughter of Solomon. 1 Kings 4 verse 11 RSV. Ben Ami Ben Ami Hebrew ben -mi for, son of my people, was the son of Lot and his youngest daughter. He became the father of the Ammonites. See Genesis chapter 19 verses 36 to 38. Topic: Ben Decker. Ben Decker, Hebrew ben edkor ben Decker, son of Pick, was one of King Solomon's 12 regional administrators. He was over Machas, Shalbim, Beth Shemesh, and Elon Beth Hanan. 1 Kings chapter 4 verse 9 RSV. Ben Jeber Ben Jeber Hebrew Ben Geber Ben Jeber, son of He Man, was one of King Solomon's twelve regional administrators. He was responsible for Ramoth Gilead and Argob. 1 Kings chapter 4 verse 13. Topic Ben Hesed. Ben Hesed Hebrew Ben Hesard Ben Hesed. Son of Grace, was one of King Solomon's twelve regional administrators. He was over Arubath, Socha, and Hefer. 1 Kings chapter 4 verse 10 RSV. Topic Ben Hur. Ben Hur, Hebrew Ben Hur, Ben Hur, son of Hur, was one of King Solomon's twelve regional administrators. He was over Ephraim. 1 Kings chapter 4 verse 8 RSV Topic Baino Baino was the son of Merari and from Jazia 1 Chronicles chapter 24 verses 26 to 27 Topic Beria Beria is the name of four different biblical individuals one of Asher's four sons, and father of Eber and Malchiel. A son of Ephraim 1 Chr. 720-23, born after the killing of Ephraim's sons Ezer and Elid, and so called by his father, because disaster had befallen his house. A Benjamite, son of Elpal. He and his brother Shema expelled the Gittites, and were patriarchs to the inhabitants of Ajalon. His sons were Michael, Ishpa and Joha, 1 Chr. 813. A Levite, the son of Shimei. He was jointly patriarch of a clan with his brother Jush, 1 Chr, 2310-11. Bidkar Bidkar Hebrew, Biedkor was an officer of the Israelite king Jehu. Jehu ordered Bidkar to throw the body of the king he usurped, Jehoram, into the field of Naboth, fulfilling prophecy. 2 Kings chapter 9 verse 25 Topic Bigtha Bigtha is one of the eunuchs who served King Xerxes in Esther chapter 1 verse 10 Topic Bersha Bersha is the king of Gomorrah in Genesis chapter 14 who joins other Canaanite city kings in rebelling against Chedorlaomer Topic. Bucky Bucky was a prince of the tribe of Dan, one of those appointed by Moses to superintend the division of Canaan amongst the tribe Num, 34 C Caleb, son of Hezron This is about the Caleb mentioned only in 1 Chronicles chapter 2 verse 18. For the better known Caleb son of Jephunneh, see Caleb. See Caleb son of Hezron. Topic: <laughs> Carmi. Carmi refers to two individuals mentioned in the Bible. The fourth son of Reuben according to Genesis chapter 46 verse 9, Numbers chapter 26 verse 6, and 1 Chronicles chapter 5 verse 3. 
the son of Zabdi, grandson of Zerah of the tribe of Judah, and the father of Achan, according to Joshua chapter 7 verse 1. He was present at the Battle of Jericho. Karshina Karshina or Karshina is a name which appears in a list of high-ranking officials in the court of King Ahasuerus in Esther chapter 1 verse 14. It is derived from the Persian Warkasina, meaning, wolfish. Chalkal Chalkal the son of Darda Hebrew Kilkal Kalkal, the same consonants with different vowel points Kilkal mean maintain, is listed in 1 Kings chapter 4 verse 31 as an example of a very wise man who is, nevertheless, not as wise as Solomon. Another person with the same Hebrew name though spelled Kalkal in the King James Version is listed in 1 Chronicles as the son of Zerah, the son of Judah son of Jacob. Chelol See Kelol Chela Chela, Cheluhi, or Cheluhu is the name given in Ezra chapter 10 verse 35 for one of the men who married foreign women. Chelob Two individuals by the name of Chelob are mentioned in the Hebrew Bible. A descendant of Judah, called, "...brother of Shuha," in 1 Chronicles 4 verse 11, in a genealogical passage listing descendants of Judah. According to the Encyclopedia Biblica 1899, this, "...Chelob," is the biblical figure better known as Caleb. An Ezri son of Chelob was an overseer of agricultural work in the time of King David according to 1 Chronicles 27 verse 26. Chenana Chenana is the name of two biblical figures. In a genealogical section of Chronicles concerned with the tribe of Benjamin, a Chenana son of Bilan is mentioned. The false prophet Zedekiah is called son of Chenana. <laughs> Chenaniah Chenaniah, according to Chronicles, was a Levite leader in the time of David. The Hebrew text is unclear as to whether he was in charge of something to do with singing or with the carrying of the ark. Chimam Chimam, Chimam or Kimam was a servant nominated by Barzillai to accompany King David to Gilgal during his return to Jerusalem after the death of Absalom, 2 Samuel 19 verses 37–40. The name also refers to a place near Bethlehem where Johanan regrouped before departing to Egypt. Chislin Chislin was the father of Eladad, a prince of the tribe of Benjamin, Num. 34–21 Chusa Chusa was the manager of Herod Antipas' household. His wife, Joanna, was a follower of Jesus see Luke chapter 8 verses 1 to 3. Claudia Claudia was an associate of Paul the Apostle who greeted St. Timothy in 2 Timothy 4 verse 21. Kosum He was the son of Elmadam and the father of Adi. D Dalphon Dalphon Hebrew Dilepwin, to weep, was one of the ten sons of Haman, killed along with Haman by the Jews of Persia, according to Esther chapter 9 verse 7. Darda Darda Hebrew Dereda, was one of the exemplars of wisdom than whom Solomon was wiser. In 1 Chronicles chapter 2 verse 6, his name is misspelled as Dara. Delea Delea, drawn out by YHWH, 
is the name of several biblical persons Kohenic family, one of the 24 priestly divisions Son of Shemaiah, an officer to King Jehoiakim of Judah. He was one of the officers present at the delivery of a scroll sent by Jeremiah, Jer. 36-12 and one of those who asked the king not to burn the scroll, Ibid. 36-25 Son of Eliohani, a descendant of the royal Davidic line through Jeconiah, 1 Chr. 3:24. The head of a family that came up from the Babylonian exile with Zerubbabel, that was unable to give its ancestral genealogy, Ezr. 2-60, Ne. 7-62. Son of Mehedabil and father of Shemaiah, Ne. 6:10. He is probably identical to the previous entry. Topic: Duel. Duel, Hebrew Duel was the father of Eliasaph the leader of the tribe of Gad, as noted in four verses in the Book of Numbers, Numbers chapter 1 verse 14, 7 42, 47, 10 20. However, in Numbers chapter 2 verse 14 this Eliasaph is called, the son of rule. <laughs> Diblame Diblame Hebrew Dibelaim, cakes of pressed figs was the mother of the prophet Hosea's wife, Gomer. Her name means doubled cakes, Hosea chapter 1 verse 3. Topic. Dibri Dibri, a Danite, was the father of Shelemith, according to Leviticus chapter 24 verse 11. Shelemith's son was stoned to death by the people of Israel for blasphemy following Moses's issue of a ruling on the penalty to be applied for blasphemy. Topic. Dikla Dikla was a son of Joktan according to Genesis chapter 10 verses 27, 1 Chronicles 1 21. Topic. Dodavahu Dodavahu or Dodava, according to Chronicles, was the father of Eliezer, a prophet. Topic. Dishon Dishon Hebrew Dishwan Dishan was the youngest son of Seir the Horite, Genesis chapter 36 verse 21. Topic. Dodo Dodo, Hebrew Dwadwo Dodo from Dwad Dod meaning, beloved, or father's brother, is a name given to three persons in the Bible. A descendant of Issachar, Judges chapter 10 verse 1. An Ahahite, father of Eliezer, who was one of David's three mighty men who were over the thirty, 2 Samuel chapter 23 verse 9, 1 Chronicles chapter 11 verse 12. A man from Bethlehem, and father of Elhanan, who was one of David's thirty heroes, 2 Samuel chapter 23 verse 24. Topic E. Topic Ebed. The father of Hall, mentioned in Judges chapter 9. The son of Jonathan, one of the heads of household who returned from the Babylonian exile in the book of Ezra, Ezra chapter 1 verse 6. Topic: <inaudible> Ebed-Melech. Ebed-Melech, Hebrew: Bedi milk Ebed melech slave of the king. The Ethiopian eunuch intervened with King Zedekiah on behalf of Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter 38 verse 7 ff. Topic: Ader. Ader was a Benjaminite chief. Ader in the King James version. 1 Chronicles chapter 8 verse 15. Topic: Egla. Egla was one of David's wives and the mother of Ithrim, according to 2 Samuel chapter 3 verse 4. Topic <laughs> EHI. In Genesis chapter 46 verse 21, EHI is the third son of Benjamin. In 1 Chronicles chapter 8 verse 1 he is called Ahara, and in Numbers chapter 26 verse 38 he is called Ahiram. Topic. Elah 
Elah was the father of King Hoshea of Israel. 2 Kings chapter 17 verse 1, 18 to 1. Topic: Elasa. Elasa or Elisa, Hebrew Elsh meaning made by God, was the name of four individuals mentioned in the Bible. The son of Shaphan, who was chosen by King Zedekiah of Judah to be one of the two messengers to take Jeremiah's letter to Nebuchadnezzar Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 3 he was probably the brother of Ahakam, who had taken Jeremiah's part at the time of his arrest after the temple sermon. One of the sons of Pasher who was rebuked for marrying a foreign woman Ezra chapter 10 verses 18 to 19. The son of Helas, a Jeremielite 1 Chronicles chapter 2 verses 39 to 40. He is called. Elisa, in the King James Bible. A descendant of Saul according to 1 Chronicles chapter 8 verse 37. He is called Elisa, in the King James Bible. Eldah Eldah appears as one of the sons of Midian son of Abraham in Genesis chapter 25 verse 4 and 1 Chronicles chapter 1 verse 33. Elid Elid appears in 1 Chronicles 7 verse 21 as the name of a man who, along with his brother Ezer, is killed by farmers near Philistine the city of Gath. It is unclear whether Elid is intended by the chronicler as the son or a later descendant of Ephraim, and it is likewise uncertain whether this Elid is the same figure as the Elida mentioned in the previous verse. Elisa. See Elasa. Topic Eliada. Eliada, rendered once as Eliada by the King James Bible, is the name of three individuals in the Hebrew Bible. The son of David, who was originally called Beliada, a Benjamite captain in the time of King Jehoshaphat, the father of Rezin the Syrian, spelled Eliada, in the King James version. Topic Eliada. See Eliada. Topic Eliakim. Eliakim is the name of two different paternal ancestors of Saint Joseph. Topic Eliakim, son of Abiad. He was the father of Azor. Topic. Eliakim, son of Malia. He was the father of Jonam and the son of Malia. Topic. Eliezer. Topic. Eliezer, son of Dodavahu. See hashtag Dodavahu. Topic. Eliezer, son of Joram. He was the father of Joshua. Topic: Eliphal. Eliphal, son of Er, is listed as one of David's mighty warriors in 1 Chronicles chapter 11, verse 35. In the corresponding place in Samuel's version of the list, 2 Samuel chapter 23, verse 34, he is called Eliphal, son of Ahasbi the Mahathite. According to the Encyclopedia Biblica, the name. Eliphal, Hebrew L Y P L, is copyist's error for Eliphale, light caused by dropping the final letter in the name. Topic Eliphale. Eliphale is a Hebrew name meaning God is a deliverance. It is the name of several figures in the Hebrew Bible and appears under several spellings. Eliphale is the name given to a son of David in 2 Samuel chapter 5 verse 16 and 1 Chronicles chapter 3 verse 8 and 14 to 7. Due to a textual error, Chronicles records Eliphale twice as if it were the name of two different sons of David. Eliphal, son of Er, 2 Samuel chapter 23 verse 34, or Ahasbi, 1 Chronicles chapter 11 verse 35, is listed as one of David's mighty warriors. The Encyclopedia Biblica claims that Eliphal 
is likely a scribal error for Eliphile. Eliphal son of Eshek appears in a genealogy of the tribe of Benjamin, 1 Chronicles chapter 8 verse 39. An Eliphile is named among the descendants of Adonikam, one of the groups that returned with Ezra from the Babylonian captivity according to Ezra chapter 8 verse 13. An Eliphile, one of the descendants of Hashem, is listed as one of the men who married foreign women according to Ezra chapter 10 verse 33. Topic. Eliasaf Eliasaf was the name of two individuals mentioned in the Bible. The son of Dul, the prince of the tribe of Gad and one of the leaders of the tribes of Israel, according to Numbers chapter 1 verse 14 and Numbers chapter 10 verse 20. The son of Lael and the chief of the house of Gershon according to Numbers chapter 3 verse 24. Topic. Eliatha. Eliatha is the name given in 1 Chronicles chapter 25 verse 4 to one of the 14 sons of Heman. According to 25-27, he gave his name to one of the 24 classes of temple singers. <inaudible> Elidad Elidad was a prince of the tribe of Benjamin, one of those appointed by Moses to superintend the division of Canaan amongst the tribe Numbers 34-21. Topic. Elianai Elianai, one of the nine sons of Shimei, appears in a genealogical passage as a descendant of Benjamin in 1 Chronicles 8 verse 20. The consonants which make up the Hebrew name are only in this one passage read as Elianai, elsewhere the pronunciation is Elioanai. Elahoreph Elahoreph, Hebrew liar, was a scribe in King Solomon's court. He was a son of Shisha and brother of Ahia. 1 Kings, 4-3 The name means, My God repays, or My God is the giver of the autumn harvest. Elimelech <inaudible> Elimelech was the husband of Naomi. Together they had two sons, Malan and Chilion. He was originally a resident of Bethlehem before moving to Moab with his family, where he died see Ruth chapter 1 verses 1 to 3. All of his property was later purchased by Boaz see Ruth chapter 4 verse 9. Elioenai is the name of several minor persons found in the Hebrew Bible. An Elioenai appears in 1 Chronicles chapter 3 verses 23 to 24, the son of Neariah, the son of Shemaiah, the son of Shechaniah, a descendant of King Jeconiah. A clan leader in the tribe of Simeon, according to 1 Chronicles chapter 4 verse 36. Elioenai son of Becher, a descendant of the tribe of Benjamin according 1 Chronicles chapter 7 verse 8. A descendant of Pasher, one of the priests listed as having married foreign women Ezra chapter 10 verse 22. A descendant of Zatu, also listed with those who had foreign wives Ezra chapter 10 verse 27. A priest involved in the dedication of the wall of Jerusalem according to Nehemiah chapter 12 verse 41. This may be the same as the descendant of Pashor above. Elioenai or Elahonai, son of Meshelamiah, son of Korah, 1 Chronicles chapter 26 verse 3. Topic: Elianani. Elianani was a descendant of David. He was the father of Achab and son of Neariah. Topic: Elishama. Elishama Hebrew, Lism my God heard, was the name of several biblical characters, including Elishama, a son of Amahud, a prince of the house of Ephraim and one of the leaders of the tribes of Israel, according to Numbers chapter 1 verse 10. Elishama the scribe, Jeremiah chapter 36 verse 12. Topic: Elishaphat Elishaphat, son of Zikri, was one of the captains of hundreds", associated with Jehoiada in restoring King Jehoash to the throne 2 Chronicles 23 verse 1. 
Alishiba. Alishiba, God is my oath, cognate to the name Elizabeth, is the wife of Aaron and sister in law of Moses. Her sons were Nadab, Abihu, Eleazar, and Ithamar. Exodus chapter 6, verse 23. Topic: Elizaphan. Elizaphan was a prince of the tribe of Zebulun, one of those appointed by Moses to superintend the division of Canaan amongst the tribe. Num. 34 to 25. Topic: Elizar. Elizar was a son of Shador and a prince of the house of Reuben, according to Numbers chapter 1, verse 5, and one of the leaders of the tribes of Israel. He appears only in the book of Numbers, in five verses 1 to 5, 2 10, 7 30, 35, 10 18. Elmadam Elmadam or Elmodam is the name of an ancestor of Saint Joseph, according to the genealogy found in the Gospel of Luke. He is the father of Kosam and the son of Ur. The Peshitta calls him Elmodad, but the Encyclopedia Biblica suggests the reading, Elmatham. A form of the name Elnathan. Topic Elnam. Elnam, according to First Chronicles chapter eleven verse forty-six, was the father of Jerobe and Joshavia, two of David's mighty warriors. Topic Elnathan. Elnathan, Hebrew Lantan El Nathan, God gave is a Hebrew name found in 2 Kings, Jeremiah and Ezra. According to 2 Kings 24 verse 8, Elnathan ben Akbor of Jerusalem was the father of Nehushta. Nehushta was the mother of King Jeconiah, whose father was King Jehoiakim. Despite this close relationship to the king, Elnathan is one of those who, according to Jeremiah chapter 36 verse 25 opposes Jehoiakim when he cuts up and burns a scroll that had been brought to him, containing Jeremiah's prophecies of the forthcoming destruction of Judah. Elnathan's father Akbor was a strong supporter of the earlier reforms of King Josiah, which may have influenced Elnathan's behavior, although according to Jeremiah chapter 26 verses 20-23 he had earlier been closely involved in the persecution of the prophet Uriah ben Shemaiah. In Ezra chapter 8 verse 16, the name Elnathan occurs three times. Then sent I for Eliezer, for Ariel, for Shemaiah, and for Elnathan, and for Jerob, and for Elnathan, and for Nathan, and for Zechariah, and for Meshullam, chief men, also for Joyavib, and for Elnathan, which were teachers. Revised version according to Donna Laird, the repetition of Elnathan, and the similarity between the names Jerob and Joyavib, may indicate a copyist's accidental repetition. Elon Elon Hebrew, Elon modern, Elon, Tiberian, Elon, Oak, was the name of two individuals mentioned in the Bible. A son of Zebulun according to Genesis chapter 46 verse 14 and Numbers chapter 26 verse 26. He was one of the seventy souls to migrate to Egypt with Jacob. Elon, one of the judges of Israel. Topic. Elpal. Elpal is a name mentioned briefly in 1 Chronicles chapter 8, in a genealogy of the tribe of Benjamin. He is recorded as the son of a woman named Husham, the wife of a man named Shaharaim. The relationship between Shaharaim and Benjamin is not spelled out by the chronicler. Elpal is recorded as the father of people who included the builders or ancestors of the towns of Ono, Lod, and Ajalon. Elpale. See Eliphale biblical figure. Topic: Elpelet. See Elpelet. Topic: Eluzai. Eluzai in 1 Chronicles chapter 12 verse 6 is the name of a Benjamite warrior who joined the forces of David at Ziklag. The name may have meant God is my refuge. Elzabad Elzabad is the name of two biblical figures. 
Elzabad appears ninth in a list of eleven warriors from the tribe of Gad who, according to 1 Chronicles 12 verse 12, joined forces with David, "...at the stronghold in the wilderness." Elzabad, the son of Shemaiah, the son of Obed-Edom, is listed as a Korahite porter in 1 Chronicles 26 verse 7. Elzaphan Elzaphan was a son of Uziel of the house of Levi according to Exodus chapter 6 verse 22, born in Egypt. He was a nephew of Amram and a cousin of Aaron, Miriam, and Moses. He and Michelle were asked by Moses to carry away Nadab's and Abihu's bodies to a place outside the camp, Leviticus chapter 10 verse 4. In the wilderness of Sinai he was named chief of the house of Kohath, Numbers chapter 3 verse 30. Topic. Enon. Enon is mentioned several by way of reference to his son, Ahira the son of Enon, who according to the Book of Numbers was the tribal leader of the tribe of Naphtali in the time of the wilderness wanderings following the Exodus. <inaudible> Enoch In Genesis chapter 4 verses 17-18, Enoch is the firstborn son of Cain and the father of Arad. Cain named the city of Enoch after his son. Topic. Enon For the place name containing Enon, see Hazar Enon. Enon was a member of the house of Naphtali according to Numbers chapter 1 verse 15. He was the father of Ahira. Topic. Aflal Aflal is the name given to a Jeremelite found a genealogy in 1 Chronicles. He is identified as the son of Zabad, the son of Nathan, the son of Atay, the son of Jarha, the son-in-law of Shishan, the son of Ishi, the son of Apim, the son of Nadab, the son of Shammai, the son of Onam, the son of Jeremiel. In various manuscripts of the Greek Septuagint, the name is found in the forms Aphamel, Afamed, and Oflad. Stanley Arthur Cook 1899 suggested that the name might originally have been either an abbreviated form of Eliphile, or else the name, Elpal. Ephod Ephod was the father of Haniel, a prince of the tribe of Manasseh, Num, 34-23. Ephron Ephron the Hittite, son of Zohar, lived in Mamre among the children of Heth. He was the owner of the property that included the cave of Machpelah, which he sold to Abraham for 400 shekels of silver. Genesis chapter 23 verses 8 to 17. Topic. Ur. He was the son of Joshua and father of Elmadam. Topic. Iran. Iran was a son of Shuthila of the tribe of Ephraim according to Numbers chapter 26 verse 36. Topic: Ari. In Genesis chapter 46 verse 16 Ari, Ari watchful is the son of Gad. He was the progenitor of the Arites. Numbers chapter 26 verse 16. Topic: Eshek. Eshek is a name which appears only once in the Hebrew Bible, in a genealogy of the tribe of Benjamin. The text of Chronicles identifies him as the brother of Azel. Ethnon Ethnon, the son of Asher the father of Tycho, is a figure who appears in a genealogy of the tribe of Judah in 1 Chronicles 4 verse 7. He may be included in the genealogy to represent Idnan, a Judahite city mentioned in Joshua chapter 15 verse 23. Ethni See Ethni Eubulus Eubulus was an associate of Paul the Apostle who greeted St. Timothy in 2 Timothy 4 verse 21. Evie 
Evi was one of five Midianite kings killed during the time of Moses by an Israelite expedition led by Phinehas, son of Eleazar according to Numbers chapter 31 verse 8 and Joshua chapter 13 verse 21. E. Z. Bon E. Z. Bon is the name of two people mentioned in the Bible. A son of Gad Genesis chapter 46 verse 16. In Numbers chapter 26 verse 16 his name is given as Osni, whose descendants constitute the Osnite clan. A son of Benjamin 1 Chr. 7 7. Ezra Ezra is the father of Jether, Merd, of Fur and Halan, grandfather through Merd of Miriam, Shammai and Ishba, and great-grandfather through Ishba of Eshtemoa 1 Chr. 417 G Gadi Gadi, the son of Susi of the house of Manasseh, was a scout sent to Canaan prior to the crossing of the Jordan River according to Numbers 13 verse 11. Gadiel Gadiel, the son of Sodi of the house of Zebulun, was a scout sent to Canaan prior to the crossing of the Jordan River according to Numbers chapter 13 verse 10. Gamaliel Gamaliel, son of Pedazur was leader of the tribe of Manasseh, one of the leaders of the tribes of Israel, mentioned several times in the book of Numbers. Gamal. Gamal Hebrew, Gamal rewarded, or recompense, was head of the 20th of 24 priestly divisions instituted by King David. Topic: Gadam. Gadam is a name which appears in Genesis and Chronicles in a genealogy of the Edomites. In Genesis chapter 36, verse 11, and 1 Chronicles chapter 1, verse 36, Gadam is described the son of Eliphaz, the son of Esau who is according to the Bible the forefather of the Edomites. In the passages which describe Gadam as a son of Eliphaz, he is listed alongside his brothers, Teman, Omar, Zepho, and Kanaz according to Genesis, a similar but slightly larger list of brothers in Chronicles Chronicles includes Amalek as a brother of Gadam. However, in Genesis chapter 36 verse 16, Gadam and Amalek along with a previously unmentioned Korah are described not as individual sons but as clans of Eliphaz. Topic: <laughs> Gazes. In the Masoretic text of the Hebrew Bible, two individuals by the name of Gazes appear in 1 Chronicles chapter 2 verse 46. However, the Peshitta includes only one Gazes, and at least one biblical scholar has suggested that the second Gazes may have been included in the Masoretic text by mistake. Point one. Gazes was the son of Haran, grandson of Caleb, a descendant of Jacob. His paternal grandmother was Ephah, wife of Caleb, 1 Chronicles 2 46. 2. Gazes was a brother of Caleb, and uncle of 1. Gazes, 1 Chronicles 2 46. Topic. Jeber Jeber, Hebrew, Geber Jeber, son of Uri, was one of King Solomon's regional administrators. His territory was Gilead, 1 Kings 4, verse 19. Topic. Jamali Jamali of the house of Dan was the father of Amiel, a scout sent to Canaan prior to the crossing of the Jordan River according to Numbers chapter 13 verse 4. Topic: <inaudible> Jemariah. Jemariah Hebrew, Gemari is the name of at least two biblical characters. Jemariah son of Shaphan in chapter 36 of Jeremiah. His own son Micaiah hears Jeremiah's secretary Baruch read Jeremiah's prophecies against the nation, and reports to a meeting of the court officials, including his father, nearby. This leads to the scroll being read before King Jehoiakim, who cuts it up and burns it despite the protestations of Jemariah and Elnathan ben Akbor. 
Jeremiah son of Hilkiah, one of the envoys whom King Zedekiah sent to Babylonia Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 3 nothing else is known of him, he was hardly the brother of Jeremiah, whose father was also named Hilkiah. Genuboth <inaudible> 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 Genuboth Hebrew Nebit Genubot, stolen is mentioned in 1 Kings chapter 11 verse 20 as the son born to Hadad the Edomite and the sister of Queen Topines Pharaoh's wife Topic <laughs> Jera Hebrew Gerja In Genesis chapter 46 verse 21 Jera is the fourth of 10 sons of Benjamin Jera is also the name of the father of Shimei, 2 Samuel chapter 19 verse 16. Jera is also the name of two of the sons of Bela. See above, making both nephews of the earlier Jera. 1 Chronicles chapter 8 verses 3, 5. Jera is also the name of the father of Ehud, a Benjamite, a man left-handed. Book of Judges 3:15. Topic: Guel. Guel, the son of Maki of the tribe of Gad, was a scout sent to Canaan prior to the crossing of the Jordan River according to Numbers chapter 13 verse 16. Genith Genith is a name which is mentioned only in passing in a narrative describing the struggle for kingship between Omri and Tibani. Tibani is referred to in 1 Kings chapter 16 verse 21 and 22 as son of Genith which taken literally, could be read as implying that a person named Genith was Tibna's father. However, the Encyclopedia Biblica suggests that the term, Genith, is a place name or clan name, so that, Tibani son of Genith, has the meaning, Tibani of Genith. <laughs> Guni Guni was a son of Naphtali according to Genesis chapter 46 verse 24 and Numbers chapter 26 verse 48. He was one of the 70 souls to migrate to Egypt with Jacob. Topic: <inaudible> Gideon. Gideon was the son of Joash the Abiarite according to Judges chapter 6 verse 11. He defeated the Midianites. Topic: <inaudible> Gideoni Gideoni Hebrew Gideoni was a member of the tribe of Benjamin according to Numbers chapter 1 verse 11 He was the father of Abidan a tribal chief He is mentioned 5 times in the book of Numbers with each reference stating his relation to Abidan Num 111 Num 222 Num 7 to 60 Num 7 to 65 Num 1024 His name is variously understood as meaning one with a disabled hand a youth, or one who cuts down trees. Topic: <inaudible> Gilali. Gilali is the name of a priest who participated as a musician in a procession led by Ezra. Topic: <inaudible> Gishpa. Gishpa, KJV Gispa, was one of two leaders of the Nethanim who lived in Ophel, according to Nehemiah chapter 11 verse 21. There are no other mentions of the name anywhere else in the Bible. H Ha'ahashtari Ha'ahashtari or Ahashtari was one of the sons of Nara, one of the two wives of Ashor 1 Chronicles 4 verse 6. Because the name is used to refer to a family of Judahites who descend from Judah via Asher, Thomas Kelly Shane believed that the name, Ha'ahashtari, arose from a confusion between Ha'ashari, the Asherite, with the obscure term Ahashtranim which appears in Esther 8 verse 10. Habeah, also called Habaya or Abdia, was the name given to a priestly family mentioned in Ezra chapter 2 verse 61, the Bani Habaya, literally sons descendants of Habaya. Along with the families Hakos and Barzillai, the Habaya family were priests whose names were not registered in the official genealogical records. 
As a result, Ezra ruled that their rights to serve as priests would be restricted until such time as a high priest could decide, using the oracular Urim and Thummim, whether they had divine approval to serve as priests. The name, Habea, means, Yahweh hides, or, Yahweh protects, and appears in manuscripts of the Greek Septuagint in the forms Labea, Obaya, Odogia, Ebia, A flat, E, Ea, Obeya, and Abdia. Habazenia Habazenia or Habazenia was either the head of a family of Rechabites Jeremiah chapter 35 verse 3, or else a place name for the location that a Rechabite lived. According to Shane and Black, it may have been a scribal error where the name, Kabzeel, a place in the territory of Judah, was originally intended. Hakmani. Hakmani or Hakmani is mentioned in passing in 1 Chronicles chapter 27 verse 32, which records that his son Yeshiel, a scribe, tutored David's sons. Hadadezer According to 1 Kings chapter 11 verse 23, Hadadezer Hebrew, Hadjur Hadad backquote Ezer, Hadad helps, was king of Zobah. Hadad Hadad the Edomite was an adversary of Solomon 1 Kings chapter 10 verse 14 Topic Hadlay Hadlay is mentioned in 2 Chronicles chapter 28 verse 12 as an Ephraimite and the father of Amasa In manuscripts of the Greek Septuagint his name is given as Chob Adi or Adli Hagab Hagab also Agaba, Akaba, is identified as the ancestor of a family of Nethanim, or temple assistants, who returned from the Babylonian exile. They appear in a list with other Ritternees in Ezra chapter 2 verse 46, but are omitted in the corresponding place in Nehemiah chapter 7 verse 48. A Hellenized version of this name appears in a similar context in 1 Esdras 5.30. In the New Testament, a prophet who appears in Acts chapter 11 verse 28 and 21:10 is named Agabus, a variant on the name Hagab. Hagab is a different character from Hagaba, which appears in the preceding verse. Topic: <laughs> Hagaba. Hagaba also Hagaba, Graba, or Agaba is identified as the ancestor of a family of Nethanim, or temple assistants, who returned from the Babylonian captivity. They appear in a list with other Ritternees in Ezra chapter 2 verse 45, Nehemiah chapter 7 verse 48, and 1 Esdras 5 29. Topic. Hagi Hagi was a son of Gad according to Genesis chapter 46 verse 16 and Numbers chapter 26 verse 15. He was one of the 70 persons to migrate to Egypt with Jacob. Hajahudiha See Jehudiha Hakadan Hakadan, also Akadan, Akatan, meaning the small one, is listed as the father of Johanan, a leader of the descendants of Asgad in Ezra chapter 8 verse 12 and 1 Esdras 8:38. Other than these two verses, the name Hakadan appears nowhere in the Bible. Topic: <laughs> Hakos. Hakos is the name of two or three biblical individuals. Head of the seventh of twenty-four priestly divisions created by King David, 1 Chr. 24:10. Head of a family of priests after the Babylonian exile. Unable to prove their lineage, the family lost its priesthood status. Ezr. 2:61. Nay. 7:63. Father of Uriah and grandfather of Merimuth, who assisted Nehemiah in rebuilding the walls of Jerusalem. Nay. 3:4. 3:21. He is probably identical to the previous entry. Topic. Halahesh Halahesh or Halohesh is a name which is used twice in the Bible. In a list of workers building the wall of Nehemiah, a man named 
Shalom son of Halahesh, is mentioned as having a leadership role. Also in the Book of Nehemiah, a person named Halahesh is recorded as affixing his seal an ancient form of signature to Ezra's covenant between God and the people living around Jerusalem. Thomas Kelly Shane believed that the name Halahesh was a miswritten version of the name Hash Shilhi, Shilhi. <laughs> Hamadatha Hamadatha was an Agajit and the father of Haman. See Esther chapter 3 verse 1. Topic: Hamilekith. Hamilekith or Hamilcheth is the sister of Mashir, the eponymous ancestor of the tribe or clan of Mashir, biblical region Mashir, which is reckoned as a part of the tribe of Manasseh in 1 Chronicles chapter 7. The name appears to mean she who reigns. If it is not a scribal error for some other name, such as Beth Milka. Topic: <laughs> Hamelich. Hamelich, in the King James version, is the name of the father of Jeremiel, Jeremiah chapter 36, verse 26, and it is the name of the father of Malchiah, Jeremiah chapter 38, verse 6. In a number of more recent translations, the Hebrew Hamelich is taken as the common noun, the king. Instead of the proper noun, Hamelich. <laughs> Hamer Hamer was the father of Shechem. Shechem defiled Dinah according to Genesis chapter 34. <laughs> Hamel Hamel was a son of Pharaohs of the tribe of Judah according to Genesis chapter 46 verse 12 and Numbers chapter 26 verse 21. He was one of the 70 souls to migrate to Egypt with Jacob. Topic: <laughs> Hanamiel. Hanamiel Hebrew, Nemel which means grace from God. A cousin of Jeremiah from whom the latter bought property. Jeremiah chapter 32 verse 7 ff Topic Ananiah Ananiah Hebrew ni which means my grace is the lord is the name of at least two biblical characters Ananiah son of Zerubbabel the father of Jeshaya was a descendant of David Ananiah son of Azor, a prophet in the time of king Zedekiah he opposed the prophet Jeremiah, was denounced by Jeremiah, and died within a year of denunciation. Jeremiah chapter 28 Topic. Haniel Haniel prince of the tribe of Manasseh, one of those appointed by Moses to superintend the division of Canaan amongst the tribe Num, 34 Hanich is the name of two biblical figures. A son of Midian, the eponymous forefather of the Midianites. A son of Reuben, the eponymous forefather of the tribe of Reuben. According to Shane and Black, the presence of this clan name in the genealogy of Reuben and Midian may indicate that the clan Hanich was considered a part of the tribe of Reuben but had a Midianite origin. Haran Haran, or Aaron Hebrew Haran refers to three minor biblical people in the Hebrew Bible. Haran, son of Terah, from Ur of the Chaldees. He fathered Lot, Milcah and Iscah, Genesis chapter 11 verses 27-29 Haran, son of Caleb, a descendant of Jacob, and Ephah his mother. Father of one, Gazes, and brother of two, Gazes, 1 Chronicles 2.46 Haran, son of Shimei, a Levite who lived in the age of King David that had some important religious or political role, 1 Chronicles 23 verses 1–9 Harbona Harbona or Harbona is the name given for one the eunuchs of King Ahasuerus in Esther chapter 1 verse 10 and 7–9. to Herf, according to 1 Chronicles 2 verse 51, was a descendant of Caleb and the father of Beth Gader. The name, Herf, in this case may refer to a group of people otherwise referred to by the term Herophite. 
Topic: Harhaya. Harhaya, in the Masoretic text of Nehemiah chapter 3 verse 8, is mentioned in passing, as being the father of Uziel, a man responsible for the repair of part of the wall of Jerusalem. The awkward phrasing of the verse suggested to Stanley A. Cook 1899 that there had been some scribal mishandling of the verse, and that the verse originally did not contain the name, Harhaya. Harhas <laughs> <laughs> Harhas, according to 2 Kings chapter 22 verse 14 and 2 Chronicles chapter 34 verse 22, was an ancestor of Shalom, the husband of the prophetess Huldah. However, where the Book of Kings has Harhas, the Book of Chronicles reads Hazra. Topic: <laughs> Harem. Harem Hebrew, har destroyed or dedicated to God was the name of three biblical patriarchs head of the third of 24 priestly divisions instituted by King David, 1 chr. 24-8 head of a non-priestly family, with 320 members, which returned with Zerubbabel, Ezr, 232, nay, 735 eight members of this family were found to have married Gentile women, whom they divorced, Ezr, 1031 Haram's son Malchia was one of those who helped repair the walls of Jerusalem, including the Tower of the Furnaces, nay, 311 his seal was on the renewed covenant with God made by the Babylonian Ritternese, nay, 1028 Head of a priestly family, with 1017 members, which returned with Zerubbabel, Ezr, 239, nay, 742. Five members of this family were found to have married Gentile women, whom they divorced, Ezr, 1021. His seal was also on the renewed covenant, nay, 10 to 6. The head of his family at the time of the return was Adna, nay, 12 to 152. Topic. Harnifer. Harnifer appears only once in the Bible, in 1 Chronicles 7 verse 36, in a passage which surveys the descendants of Asher. The name may be of Egyptian origin, meaning, Horus is good. Harem Harem is recorded as the father of Aherhal in 1 Chronicles 4 verse 8, which lists him as an ancestor of several clans in the tribe of Judah. Topic. Harumaf Harumaf is listed as the father of Jediah, a man responsible for making repairs to a part of Nehemiah's wall. He is only mentioned once in the Bible, in Nehemiah chapter 3 verse 10. Topic. Hasadia Hasadia is listed as one of the sons of Zerubbabel in 1 Chronicles 3 verse 20, and is therefore a member of the royal lineage of the Judahite kings. Hashabiah Hashabiah is a biblical name that appears frequently for individuals mentioned after the Babylonian captivity. Because the name often appears in lists without any detailed description, it is sometimes difficult to tell whether different verses that use the name are referring to the same Hashabiah or to distinct persons. The following list of nine individuals is the number listed in the Encyclopedia Biblica, though the Encyclopedia does not claim that precisely nine people of this name are mentioned. A Levite of the Merarite group, mentioned 1 Chronicles 6 verse 45 verse 30 in some Bibles. Hashabiah son of Buni, a Merarite Levite listed as living in Jerusalem in 1 Chronicles 9 verse 14 and Nehemiah 11 verse 15. A leader of a large group of people in the time of David. A musician. Hashabiah son of Kemuel, identified as the leader of the Levites in the time of David. A Levite leader in the time of Josiah. A Levite identified as having signed the covenant between Ezra and God. A ruler listed as one of the people responsible for repairing the wall of Jerusalem in Nehemiah chapter 3 verse 17. The ruler of the clan of Hilkiah, according to Nehemiah chapter 12 verse 21. Topic: Hashabna. Hashabna is the name given for one of the men who signed the covenant between the people of Judah and God in Nehemiah chapter 10 verse 25, verse 26 in some Bibles. 
According to Shane and Black, the name is likely a miswritten form of Hashabaniya. Hashub Hashub is mentioned in passing as the father of Shemaiah, a Levite who is listed among those living in Jerusalem after the end of the Babylonian captivity. Hashuba Hashuba is listed as one of the children of Zerubbabel, the governor of Yehud Medinata. Hazra Hazra, according to 2 Chronicles 34 verse 22, is the name of an ancestor of Shalom, the husband of the prophetess Huldah. However, where the book of Chronicles has, Hazra, 2 Kings 22 verse 14 has, Harhas. Hasifa Hasifa in the King James Version is the name of a clan or family of Nethanim temple assistants listed in Nehemiah chapter 7 verse 46 and Ezra chapter 2 verse 43. Hathach Hathach or Hatash is the name of one of the eunuchs of Ahasuerus in the Book of Esther. He acts as a messenger between Esther and Mordecai. Topic: Hathoth. Hathoth is only mentioned in 1 Chronicles chapter 4 verse 13 in a genealogical passage where he is the son of Othniel, the son of Kenaz. Topic: Hadal. The descendants of Hadal also called Agia or Haya are listed in Ezra chapter 2 verse 57 and Nehemiah chapter 7 verse 59 as a group of people returning from the Babylonian captivity. See Ezra Nehemiah. They are categorized by Ezra as being descendants of Solomon's servants. See Nethanim. In the Greek text of 1 Ezra's 5:34, a closely related work, Hadal is referred to as Agia or Haya. Topic: Hazaya. Hazaya is a figure mentioned in passing in Nehemiah chapter 11 verse 5 as an ancestor Maseya, a notable leader of the tribe of Judah in Yehud Medinata. Topic: <laughs> Hazo. Hazo was the son of Nahor and Milcah. Genesis chapter 22 verse 22. Topic: <laughs> Eber. Eber or Chever, Hebrew, Eber Haber modern Ever, Hever Tiberian Eber, Haber, friend, connected, is the grandson of the patriarch Asher mentioned at Genesis chapter 46 verse 17 and in Numbers chapter 26 verse 45. Eber probably should not be confused with the Eber who was Abraham's ancestor. Topic. Helic. Helic was a son of Gilead of the tribe of Manasseh according to Numbers chapter 26 verse 30 and Joshua chapter 17 verse 2. Topic: <inaudible> Heldai. Heldai is the name of two biblical figures. According to the Encyclopedia Biblica, it should most likely be given alternate vowels as Heldai or Heldai. Heldai son of Bana the Netophathite is listed as one of David's mighty warriors, and also in a list of military leaders given in 1 Chronicles 27 verse 15. He is called Held in 1 Chronicles 11 verse 30, and Helab in 2 Samuel 23 verse 29. A Jew living in Babylonia, mentioned in Zechariah chapter 6 verse 10. He is called Helam in Zechariah chapter 6 verse 10. Helkai Helkai is a name used in Nehemiah chapter 12 verse 15, in a list of priestly clan leaders in the days of Joachim. The text refers to Helkai as leading a clan named Marioth. According to the Encyclopedia Biblica, the name is an abbreviated form of Hilkiah. Helan Helon was a member of the house of Zebulun according to Numbers chapter 1 verse 9. 
He was the father of Eliab. Topic: Hemam. Hemam or Homam is the name of the son of Lotan and grandson of Seir the Horite, according to Genesis chapter 36 verse 22 and 1 Chronicles chapter 1 verse 39. Topic: Henadad. Henadad is a biblical name which appears only in Ezra Nehemiah. In a passage which describes the rebuilding of the wall of Jerusalem, two sons of Henadad, Bavai and Binui, are named as taking responsibility for portions of the wall. Binui reappears later, where he is described as a Levite and as one of the signatories of the covenant between Ezra, God, and the people of Judah. The sons of Henadad though without any specific individuals named, are mentioned in also in Ezra chapter 3 verse 9, a difficult passage. <laughs> Hefer Hefer was a son of Manasseh according to Numbers chapter 26 verse 32 and Joshua chapter 17 verse 2. See list of minor biblical places section Hefer. Hermogenes A Hermogenes is briefly mentioned in 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 15, where he, along with someone named Phygelus, are described as having turned away from Paul the Apostle. Nothing more is known about Hermogenes. <laughs> Hezekiah This section is about the minor biblical figures named Hezekiah. For the king Hezekiah, see Hezekiah. Hezekiah is the name of three minor figures in the Hebrew Bible. In some Bibles the variant spellings Hezekiah and Hezekijah occur. A son of Neariah and descendant of David mentioned in the royal genealogy of 1 Chronicles chapter 3. A figure mentioned in passing in Ezra chapter 2 verse 16 and Nehemiah chapter 7 verse 21, as the ancestor of some of the exiles who returned from the Babylonian captivity an ancestor of the prophet Zephaniah. Hezron Hezron or Hetzron Hebrew, Hezerwin modern, Hetzron, Tiberian, Hezron, enclosed, is the name of two men in Genesis. In Genesis chapter 46 verse 9, Hezron is a son of Reuben and the founder of the Hezronites. In Genesis chapter 46 verse 12, Hezron is grandson of Judah and the son of Pharez. Topic: Heel. Heel the Bethelite Heb. Ahil Heil, the divine brother or kinsman is God. Rebuilt Jericho during the reign of King Ahab. 1 Kings chapter 16 verse 34. Topic: Hillel of Pyrathon The father of Abdon, in the book of Judges Judges chapter 12 verses 13 to 15. Topic. Hiram Hiram Hebrew, Hiram Hiram of Tyre, son of a widow of the tribe of Naphtali whose father was a craftsman in bronze, was given the metal work of King Solomon's temple. 1 Kings chapter 7 verses 13 to 14. According to the interpreter's Bible, Hiram is a shortened form of Hiram, a Hiram, brother of Ram, the lofty one. Topic: <laughs> Hobab. Hobab was Moses's brother-in-law, Numbers chapter 10 verse 29, the son of Moses's father-in-law, Jethro, Judges chapter 4 verse 11. The relevant part of Numbers chapter 10 verse 29 reads, And Moses said unto Hobab, the son of Ruel the Midianite, Moses's father-in-law, that of Judges chapter 4 verse 11 reads, Now Eber the Kenite had severed himself from the Kenites, even from the children of Hobab the father-in-law of Moses. Moses invited Hobab to take part in the Exodus journey into the Promised Land, wanting to make use of his local knowledge, but Hobab preferred to return home to Midian Numbers chapter 10 verses 29 to 31. Hod Hod is a biblical name which appears only in 1 Chronicles chapter 7 verse 37. 
He appears as one character in a genealogy of the tribe of Asher. Hodavia Hodavia is the name of three individuals in the Bible. The Revised Version and King James Version of the Bible sometimes spell it as Hodiah, Hodeva, or Hodia. Hodavia, a clan leader in the tribe of Manasseh, according to 1 Chronicles 5 verse 24. Hodavia son of Hasanua appears as the ancestor of a Benjamite man living in Jerusalem after the Babylonian captivity. This Hodavia is called, Judah son of Hasanua, in Namian 11-9. Hodavia son of Elioenai is described as a descendant of Zerubbabel in 1 Chronicles 3 verse 24. Hodesh Hodesh is a figure who appears in a genealogy of the tribe of Benjamin in Chronicles. The name might mean, born at the feast of the new moon, or else it may be a misspelling of Ahishahar. Topic. Hoham Hoham, according to the Book of Joshua, was the king of Hebron, defeated in Joshua's conquest. Topic. Homam See Hemam Topic. Hun See on Biblical figure Topic. Hori Hori is the personal name of two biblical individuals, as well as being the Hebrew term for a Horite. Hori of the house of Simeon was the father of Shaphat, a scout sent to Canaan prior to the crossing of the Jordan River according to Numbers chapter 13 verse 5. Hori is recorded as the name of Lotan, the son of Seir the Horite, according to Genesis chapter 36 verse 22. Topic. Hoshama Hoshama is the name of one of the seven sons of Jeconiah, according to 1 Chronicles 3 verse 18, the only place in the Bible that refers to him. It is a shortened version of the name Jehoshama. Topic. Hotham Hotham is the name for two individuals found in the Bible. Ahotham appears in a genealogy of the tribe of Asher in 1 Chronicles 7 verse 32, but this individual is referred to as Helam in verse 35. Another Hotham, though the KJV calls him Hothan, can be found in 1 Chronicles 11 verse 44, where his sons Shama and Jeel are listed among David's mighty warriors. This second Hotham is called an Arorite. Hothir. Hothir is listed as a son of David's seer, Heman in 1 Chronicles 25 verse 4 and 28. Hubba See Jehuba Huppam Huppam, Huppam or Huffam Huppam was the ninth son of Benjamin in Genesis chapter 46 verse 21 and Numbers chapter 26 verse 39. Hushim Hushim, according to Genesis chapter 46 verse 23, was the name of the sons of Dan, listed among the seventy souls to migrate to Egypt with Jacob. Numbers chapter 26 verse 42 calls Dan's son Shuham, and his descendants the Shuhamites. The Talmud names him as the murderer of Esau. Huzab Huzab is either a name or a word which appears in Nahum chapter 2 verse 7 verse 8 in some Bibles. In a passage in which Nahum is predicting the fall of Nineveh, the prophet says, Huzab shall be led away captive. In the King James Version. However, a number of more contemporary versions since the late 19th century have interpreted the word as a verb, meaning, and it has been decreed. I Ibnia 
Ibniya is the name given in chronicles to a leader of a clan in the tribe of Benjamin which returned to Yehud Medinata after the Babylonian captivity. The same character is referred to as Gabai in the parallel passage in Nehemiah. <inaudible> Ibnijah Ibnijah is a figure who is mentioned indirectly in 1 Chronicles 9 verse 8, by way of his descendant. Meshulam, son of Shephasha, son of Ruel, son of Ibnijah. He was a Benjamite. <inaudible> Ibsam According to Chronicles, Ibsam was the son of Tola, who in turn was the son of Issachar. He is called Jibsam in the King James Version. Idbash <inaudible> 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 Idbash, according to 1 Chronicles chapter 4 verse 3, was one of the sons of Etham, a figure who appears in the chronicler's genealogy of the tribe of Judah. Topic <laughs> Igal. Igal is the name of three biblical figures. Igal, son of Joseph of the house of Issachar, a scout sent to Canaan prior to the crossing of the Jordan River, according to Numbers chapter 13 verse 7. Igal son of Nathan of Zobah is mentioned only in 2 Samuel chapter 23 verse 36 in a list of David's mighty warriors. Igal son of Shemaiah is listed as a descendant of Zerubbabel in 1 Chronicles chapter 3 verse 22. This last figure is called Igal in the King James Version, although his name in Hebrew is the same as the other two Igals. Agdalia. Agdalia Hebrew Yigdalyahu is mentioned in passing as the father of a man named Hanan in Jeremiah chapter 35 verse 3. According to the book of Jeremiah, the sons or descendants of Hanan son of Agdalia had their own chamber in the temple at Jerusalem, which was the site of the famous object lesson concerning Jeremiah and the Rechabites. The Encyclopedia Biblica claimed that the name Agdalia was most likely a mistaken form of the name Gedaliah. Akesh Akesh the Tekoit was the father of Ira, one of King David's warriors 2 Samuel 23 verses 26, 1 Chronicles 11 28 Eli See Zalman Biblical figure Imla Imla Hebrew Imel, whom God will fill up. The father of Micaiah, which latter was the prophet who foretold the defeat of the allied kings of Judah and Israel against Ramoth Gilead 2 Kron 18 -7 In the parallel passage 1 Kings chapter 22 verses 8 to 9, his name is written Imla. Topic: <laughs> Amur Amur was a member of the priestly family whose sons, Hanani and Zabadiah, had both taken pagan wives but repented during the communal confession instigated by the biblical priest Ezra. Imna Imna is a biblical name which appears only in 1 Chronicles 7 verse 35, in a genealogy of the tribe of Asher. Imra Imra is a biblical name which appears only in 1 Chronicles 7 verse 36, in a genealogy of the tribe of Asher. Imri Imri is the name of two individuals mentioned in the Hebrew Bible. An Imri is mentioned in passing in the ancestry of a man named Utai, who according to 1 Chronicles 9 verse 4 lived in Jerusalem after the return from the Babylonian captivity. A man named, Zachar son of Imri, is recorded as taking responsibility for a section of the wall in the project of rebuilding the wall of Jerusalem, according to Nehemiah chapter 3 verse 2. <laughs> Iphdiah is a name which appears very briefly as that of Iphdiah son of Shashik, 
mentioned only in a genealogy of the tribe of Asher according to Chronicles. IR CIRI biblical figure topic IRA the Jairite IRA the Jairite was David's priest or chief minister after Sheba's rebellion he is described as David's priest by the English Standard Version and New International Version his chief ruler by the King James Version and his chief minister by the New King James Version topic Arad In Genesis chapter 4 verse 18, Arad is the son of Enoch, the grandson of Cain and the father of Mehuyael. Topic: Aram. Aram is a name which appears in Genesis chapter 36 verse 43. In the Masoretic text as it now stands, Aram is identified as a tribal leader, Hebrew aloof of Edom. However, Thomas Kelly suggests that originally the text may have identified Aram and the other tribal leaders as the names not of individuals, but of clans, using the Hebrew word Eliph to mean clan. IRI IRI, according to 1 Chronicles 7 verse 7, was one of the sons of Bela, who was the son of Benjamin, eponymous founder of the tribe of Benjamin. In verse 12, he is referred to simply as I.R. Iriah Iriah is an official who arrests Jeremiah on suspicion of desertion. I.R.U. I.R.U. is a name mentioned only once in the Hebrew Bible. In 1 Chronicles chapter 4 verse 15, Iru is listed as one of the sons of Caleb. The other two were Elah and Nam. Topic: <inaudible> Iska. Iska or Jeska, Jessica, was a daughter of Haran, sister of Lot and Milcah, according to Genesis chapter 11 verse 29. Topic: <inaudible> Ishba. For the Ishba father of Eshtemoa, mentioned in 1 Chronicles, see List of Minor Biblical Tribes section Ishba. Ishbi Benob Ishbi Benob is a name which appears in the Quere of the Masoretic Text at 2 Samuel 21, verse 16. Quere is the term for the version of the text traditionally read aloud in synagogues. The Kediv, the version written but not read aloud, reads somewhat differently, in a manner that suggested to Thomas Kelly Shane that the opening words of the verse were not the name of the giant, but words that indicated that David and his soldiers stayed in the city of Nob. Whatever the case with the Kediv, the Quere as it now stands asserts that Ishbi Benob was the name of a Philistine giant, who was killed by Abishai son of Zeruiah. Gesenius interprets his name as meaning, Dweller upon the height. In Brenton's Septuagint translation, his name is given as Jespi, the progeny of Rapha. Ishad Ishad, King James Version Ishad is a figure mentioned only once in the Hebrew Bible. 1 Chronicles 7 verse 18 lists Ishad as a son of Hamalekith in a genealogy of the tribe of Manasseh. Ishia. See Josiah. Topic Ishia. See Josiah. Topic Ishmaya. Ishmaya KJV is Maya is the name of two biblical figures. Ishmaya son of Obadiah was the leader of the tribe of Zebulun in the time of David, according to 1 Chronicles 27 verse 19. He is called Samaeas in the Septuagint. Ishmaya the Gibeonite, according to 1 Chronicles 12 verse 4, was one of David's mighty warriors. Ishmarai 
Ishmarai is a biblical figure mentioned only in 1 Chronicles 8 verse 18, where he is called, "...the son of Elpal", in a genealogy of the tribe of Benjamin. He may be the same character as the "...shemer", or "...shemd", mentioned in 1 Chronicles 8 verse 12. Ashad See Ishad Ishpah Ishpah is a name which appears in a genealogy of the tribe of Benjamin. According to 1 Chronicles 8, Ishpah was the son of Beria, the son of Elpal, the son of Shaharaim. Ishban Ishban is a figure who appears only once in the Hebrew Bible, in a genealogical passage describing the people of the tribe of Benjamin. 1 Chronicles 8 calls him the son of Shashak, the son of Elpal, the son of Shaharaim. Ishua See Ishva Ishuai See Ishva Topic Ishwi See Ishvi Topic Ishva Ishva KJV Ishua and Isua was one of the sons of Asher according to Genesis chapter 46 verse 17 and 1 Chronicles chapter 7 verse 30 although he is missing from the list of the sons of Asher found in Numbers chapter 26 verse 44 Topic Ishvi Ishvi KJV Ishwi Isui Jesu and Ishuai is the name of two figures in the Hebrew Bible Ishvi is the name given to a son of Asher, eponymous founder of the tribe of Asher, in Genesis chapter 46 verse 17, Numbers chapter 26 verse 44, and 1 Chronicles chapter 7 verse 30. His descendants are called Ishvites in Numbers chapter 24 verse 44. Genesis chapter 46 places him in the list of 70 persons who went down into Egypt with Jacob, the father of Asher and the other 11 tribes of Israel. Ishvi is the name of a son of Saul in 1 Samuel chapter 14 verse 49. Topic: Ismaya. See Ishmaya. Topic: Ispah. See Ishba. Topic: Ishia. See Josiah. Topic Ishia. See Josiah. Topic Isui. See Ishvi. Topic Itai. See Itai. Topic Idma. Idma is a name which appears only once in the Hebrew Bible, in 1 Chronicles chapter 11, verse 46, where Idma the Moabite is listed as one of David's mighty warriors. Topic Ithran. Ithran is the name given for two figures in the Hebrew Bible. Ithran, son of Disan, son of Anna, son of Zibion, son of Seir the Horite. This Ithran represents the name of a Horite clan. Ithran, son of Zopha, son of Helam appears in a genealogy of the tribe of Asher. The Encyclopedia Biblica identifies the Jether of 1 Chronicles 7 verse 38 as probably being identical to this Ithran. Ithrim. Ithrim was the son of David and Eglah, David's sixth son, according to 2 Samuel 3 verse 5. Ittai Ittai and in Chronicles, Ittai once is the name given one or two biblical figures 
Ittai the Gittite appears alongside 600 soldiers as a Philistine ally of David in the time leading up to Absalom's rebellion. Having only recently arrived in Jerusalem, David gives him an option to return home to Gath, but Ittai confirms his loyalty to David and helps him evacuate the city. During the rebellion itself, he serves as commander of a third of David's army. Ittai, son of Ribai, from Gibeah, of the children of Benjamin, is listed as one of David's mighty warriors. His association with Gibeah and the tribe of Benjamin, probably, distinguish him from the Gittite Ittai, according to Stanley Arthur Cook. This Benjamite Ittai is once called Ittai in 1 Chronicles 11 verse 31. Izar For the Levitical clan, see Izar. Izar son of Hela is a figure who appears in a genealogy of the tribe of Judah, in 1 Chronicles 4 verse 7. He is called Izar according to the variant reading known as Quere. According to the Kediv his name is Zohar. The King James Version calls him Jezor. Ezrahia. Ezrahia is the name of two biblical figures. Ezrahia son of Uzi, son of Tola, son of Issachar appears in a genealogy of the tribe of Issachar. Ezrahia KJV Jezrahia is, according to Nehemiah chapter 12 verse 42, a leader of singers in a procession headed by Nehemiah. Ezri <inaudible> <inaudible> Ezri Zeri appears in a list of persons responsible for liturgical music in the time of David, according to 1 Chronicles 25 verse 11. In 1 Chronicles 25 verse 3, he is called Zeri. Uzziah Uzziah KJV Jezia, a descendant of Parash, is listed as one of the men who married foreign wives in the time of Nehemiah. J Janai See Janai biblical figure. See Dejeni Jareshia Jareshia KJV Jeraziah is a name which appears only 1 Chronicles chapter 8 verse 27 where Jeraziah is identified as one of the sons of Jeroham. The text does not identify any information about Jeroham's parentage but the passage is part of a genealogy of the tribe of Benjamin. Topic <laughs> Jasai See Jasu Topic Jasau See Jasu Topic Jasiel Jasiel Jaziel is the name of one of David's mighty warriors. He is referred to in Hebrew as Hamitsavaya, which has been variously translated as the Mesobait, the Mesobait, or from Zoba, a Jasiel son of Abner is listed as a Benjamite leader in 1 Chronicles 27 verse 21, who may be the same person. Jasu Jasu also called Jasau, Jasai, is a name which appears in a list of men alleged to have married foreign women in the time of Nehemiah. Jaziah Jazia is listed as one of the sons of Merari in a passage discussing the various divisions of Levites. Topic: <inaudible> Jaziel. Jaziel is the name of a Levite musician who appears in 1 Chronicles chapter 15 verse 18. He reappears as Azil in 1520. Topic: <inaudible> Jakan. <inaudible> Jachan or Jachin is a name which appears once in the Hebrew Bible in a list of Gadites and Chronicles. Topic: Jachin. 
Jachin was a son of Simeon according to Genesis chapter 46 verse 10, Exodus chapter 6 verse 15, and Numbers chapter 26 verse 12, one of the seventy souls to migrate to Egypt with Jacob. <laughs> Jahath Jahath is the name of several individuals in the Hebrew Bible. Jahath son of Reiah, son of Shobal, son of Judah, son of Jacob is mentioned in 1 Chronicles chapter 4 verse 2 in a genealogical passage describing the tribe of Judah. Jahath is a name applied to various levites in 1 Chronicles chapter 6 verse 20, verse 5 in some Bibles, 6:43, verse 28 in some Bibles, 23:10, 24:22, and 2 Chronicles chapter 34 verse 12. Topic Jahaziah See Jahaziah Topic Jalil Jalil was a son of Zebulun according to Genesis chapter 46 verse 14 and Numbers chapter 26 verse 26 He was one of the 70 persons to migrate to Egypt with Jacob Topic Jamai For the Jamai of 1 Chronicles chapter 7 verse 2, see list of minor biblical tribes section Jamai. Topic: <inaudible> Jaziel. Jaziel was a son of Naphtali according to Genesis chapter 46 verse 24 and Numbers chapter 26 verse 48. He was one of the 70 persons to migrate to Egypt with Jacob. Topic: <inaudible> Jaziah Jaziah son of Tikva is one of the figures listed in the Book of Ezra as opposing Ezra's prohibition on marriages with foreign women. Jazerah Jazerah is a name which appears only in 1 Chronicles 9 verse 12. See Azai. Jaka Jaka is a name that appears only in Proverbs chapter 30 verse 1, where part of the book of Proverbs is ascribed to a man called Agur son of Jaka. Franz de Lich proposed that the name Jaka means scrupulously pious. Janai Janai is a name that appears only 1 Chronicles 5 verse 12, where Janai is listed as a descendant of Gad. According to the Encyclopedia Biblica, the name represents the name of a clan within the tribe of Gad. Jerob Jerob is the name of three individuals in the Hebrew Bible, and appears once in the King James Version of 1 Maccabees 14.29. In 1 Chronicles chapter 4 verse 24, one of the sons of Simeon, son of Jacob, is called Jerob. In other passages, he is called Jachin. A Jerob appears in a list of leaders recruited by Ezra to find levites for the resettlement of Jerusalem. A priest by the name of Jerob is mentioned in a list of men who married foreign women in Ezra chapter 10 verse 18. In 1 Maccabees 14:29, in the King James version, a priest named Simon is described as being of the posterity of Jerob. The New English translation of the Septuagint transliterates the name as Eorib, while the New American Bible reads Jorib. <laughs> Jackham This section is about individuals named Jackham. For the priestly division named Jackham, see the priestly division of Jackham. Jackam is the name of one individual mentioned in the Hebrew Bible, as well as one individual mentioned in some manuscripts of the New Testament's Gospel of Matthew. In a genealogy of the tribe of Benjamin, in 1 Chronicles 24 verse 12, a Jackam appears, as the son of Shimei who is referred to as Shema in verse 13. In some Greek manuscripts of Matthew, a Jackam appears between Josiah and Jeconiah in a genealogy of Jesus. Halan Halan was one of four sons of Ezra, and the uncle of Miriam, Shammai and Ishba father of Eshtemoa, 1 Chr. 4 
Topic. Hameen. The name Hameen means right hand. There are three different Hameens in the Bible. A son of Simeon according to Genesis chapter 46 verse 10, Exodus chapter 6 verse 15, and Numbers chapter 26 verse 12. He was one of the seventy souls to migrate to Egypt with Jacob. Man of Judah, see 1 Chronicles chapter 2 verse 27. Post-exile Levite who interpreted the law, see Nehemiah chapter 8 verses 7, 8. Topic. Jamlich. Jamlich is a figure who appears once in the Hebrew Bible, in list of kin group leaders in the tribe of Simeon, who according to the Bible lived in the time of Hezekiah and exterminated the Munim. Jophia Jophia was the king of Lachish, one of the five kings of the Amorites whose battle against the settling Israelites led by Joshua is reported in Joshua chapter 10 verses 1 to 15. Along with the other four kings, he was subsequently found in a cave at Makeda, where he was killed and buried by Joshua and his forces Joshua chapter 10 verses 26 to 27. <laughs> Jerob Jerob is a name which appears in Hosea chapter 5 verse 13 and 10 16 in some translations of the Bible. In both passages, the Hebrew text refers to a MLKYRB KJV, King Jerob, in a way that implies that MLKYRB is the king of Assyria. However, no Assyrian king by the name of Jerob is known to history, which has led to a variety of conjectures about what the phrase refers to. According to W. F. Albright, the definitive solution to the problem is that the text should read MLKRB or MLKYRB, meaning the Great King, a Hebrew translation of the common Assyrian royal title Sheru Rabu. The proposed emendation to Great King has been accepted in a number of biblical translations. Jeraziah See Jareshia Jarha Jarha was an Egyptian slave of Shishan who was married to Shishan's daughter according to 1 Chronicles chapter 2 verses 34 to 35. Topic: <inaudible> Jara. See Jehoiada. Topic: <inaudible> Jaziel. See Josiel. Topic: <inaudible> Jathniel Jathniel is a minor biblical figure who appears only in 1 Chronicles 26 verse 2, in a list of Korahite porters. Jaziz Jaziz the Hagrit, according to 1 Chronicles 27 verse 31, was in charge of King David's flocks of sheep and goats. Topic. Jetherai See Ethni Topic. Jechemiah See Jechemiah Topic. Jecholia Jecholia Hebrew, Yali Yekalyahu of Jerusalem was the wife of the king of Judah, Amaziah, and the mother of King Azariah. Depending on translation used, her name may also be spelled Jechilia, Jecholia, or Jecholia. <inaudible> Jedile There are three individuals in the Hebrew Bible named Jedile. Jedial son of Shimri is listed as one of David's warriors in 1 Chronicles 11 verse 45. Jedial, a man from the tribe of Manasseh, appears in a list of warriors said to have deserted David when he went to Ziklag. Jedial son of Meshelamiah appears in a list of Korahite porters in the time of David. Jezer <inaudible> <inaudible> Jezer was a son of Gilead of the tribe of Manasseh according to Numbers chapter 26 verse 30. 
Jehalel Jehalel KJV Jehalel or Jehalel is the name of two individuals in the Hebrew Bible. A Jehalel appears in 1 Chronicles chapter 4 verse 16 in a genealogy of the tribe of Judah. Another Jehalel appears in a list of Levites in 2 Chronicles chapter 29 verse 12. Topic: Jedia Jedia is the name of two individuals in the Hebrew Bible. A Levite mentioned in 1 Chronicles chapter 24 verse 20. Jedia the Maronothite, who according to 1 Chronicles chapter 27 verse 30 was in charge of King David's donkeys. Topic: <laughs> Jehia. Jehia is a figure who is only mentioned once in the Bible, in 1 Chronicles 15 verse 24, which describes him as a gatekeeper for the Ark of the Covenant in the time of David. Jehiel This entry contains close paraphrases and borrowing of wording found in entries entitled, Jehiel, the Encyclopedia Biblica, a work that is now in the public domain. Jehiel is the name of fourteen figures in the Hebrew Bible, for eleven of these the English spelling, Jehiel, reflects the Hebrew name Yel. A Levite musician in the time of David 1 Chronicles 15 verses 18, 20, 16-5. The leader of a family of Gershonite levities in the time of David 1 Chronicles 23 verse 8, 29-8. Jehiel the son of Hakmani, who was with David's sons 1 Chronicles 27 verse 32. Jehiel the son of King Jehoshaphat 2 Chronicles 21 verse 2. A Hamanite Levite in the time of Hezekiah, called Jehuel in the Revised Version 2 Chronicles 29 verse 14. A Levitical or priestly overseas of the temple in the time of Hezekiah 2 Chronicles 31 verse 13. A person referred to as ruler of the house of God in the time of Josiah, 2 Chronicles chapter 35 verse 8. The father of Obadiah in a post-exilic list of kin groups, Ezra chapter 8 verse 9. The father of Shechaniah, Ezra chapter 10 verse 2. Jehiel the son of Haram, a priest, Ezra chapter 10 verse 21. Jehiel the son of Elam, a layman Ezra chapter 10 verse 26, for the other three, the name Jehiel or Jeel reflects the Hebrew spelling Yil. One of the sons of Elam Ezra chapter 10 verse 2. A Gibeonite described as the father of Gibeon, in 1 Chronicles chapter 9 verse 35. A son of Hothan the Arorite, who along with his brother Shammah was listed as one of David's mighty warriors in 1 Chronicles chapter 11 verse 44. Topic. Jehizkiah Jehizkiah son of Shalom is mentioned in a list of Ephraimite leaders who, according to 2 Chronicles 28, intervened along with the prophet Oded to prevent the enslavement of 200,000 people from the kingdom of Judah during the time of the king Ahaz. Topic. Jehoiada Jehoiada or Jehoiada Jara was one of the descendants of King Saul according to 1 Chronicles chapter 8 verses 33 to 36 In 1 Chronicles chapter 9 verse 42 which contains a copy of the same genealogy of Saul his name is given as Jara Topic <laughs> Jehoiada Jehoiada Hebrew Yaudan Jehoiada YHWH delights was a native of Jerusalem, the wife of King Joash of Judah, and mother of his successor, King Amaziah. 2 Kings 14 verse 2 Jehoiada Jehoiada Hebrew, Yid Yehoiada, the Lord knows, was the name of at least three people in the Hebrew Bible. Jehoiada, a priest during the reigns of Ahaziah, Athaliah, and Joash Q. V. Jehoiada, father of Benaiah, cf. Benaiah. Jehoiada, a priest in the time of Jeremiah, Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 26. Topic: Jehoshaphat. 
Jehoshaphat Hebrew, Yaust Jehoshaphat, God judges, son of Parua, was one of King Solomon's twelve regional administrators. His jurisdiction was Issachar, 1 Kings chapter 4 verse 17. Jehoshaphat, son of Ahilud, was King Solomon's recorder, 1 Kings chapter 4 verse 3. Topic: <laughs> Jehoshabad. Jehoshabad Hebrew, Yabd Jehoshabad is the name of three figures in the Hebrew Bible. Jehoshabad son of Shomer was one of the assassinators of King Joash of Judah. 2 Kings chapter 12 verse 21. This person is called Zabad, in 2 Kron, XXIV.26. Jehoshabad, according 2 Chronicles 17 verse 18, was a leader of 180,000 Benjamite warriors in the time of King Jehoshaphat. Jehoshabad is listed as one of the sons of Obed-Edom according to 1 Chronicles 26 verse 4. Jehubah <inaudible> 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 Jehubah or Hubba is the name of an individual who appears in a genealogy of the tribe of Asher. His name depends on which variant reading of the Masoretic text one follows. The Kediv reads YHBH, Jehubah. The Quere reads WHBH, and Hubba. Topic: <laughs> Jehudi. Jehudi, Hebrew Yudi, Judahite. The son of Nethaniah, the son of Shelemiah, the son of Cushi. Jeremiah chapter 36 verse 14 was one of the delegates the princes sent to fetch Baruch, Jeremiah's scribe, to read his scroll. Topic: <laughs> Jehudiha. Jehudiha Hebrew Hayyahudiah is in the King James version the name of a wife of Merd and the mother of several of his children. The Jewish Publication Society Bible of 1917 calls her Hajahudiha. However, the revised version simply treats the word as a noun. The Jewess. The meaning of the passage is difficult due to several scribal errors. Topic: <laughs> Jehush. See Jush. Topic: <laughs> Jeel. Jeel is the name of ten individuals in the Hebrew Bible. Jeel, according to 1 Chronicles 5 verse 7, was a leader in the tribe of Reuben. Jeel, referred to as the father of Gibeon, was an ancestor of King Saul. The King James Version calls him Jehiel. This figure's name is affected by variant readings preserved through the Quere and Kediv system in the Masoretic text. The Kediv calls him Jewel, while the Quere calls him Jeel. Jeel son of Hotham the Arorite is listed as one of David's warriors in 1 Chronicles 11 verse 44. The King James Version calls him Jehiel. This figure's name is affected by variant readings preserved through the Quere and Kediv system in the Masoretic text. The Kediv calls him Jewel, while the Quere calls him Jeel. A Jeel is mentioned in passing in a list of gatekeepers for the Ark of the Covenant in 1 Chronicles 15 verse 18. Ajil is listed as one of the ancestors of a Levite named Jehazel in 2 Chronicles 20 verse 14. Ajil was one of the scribes of Uzziah according to 2 Chronicles 26 verse 11. This figure's name is affected by variant readings preserved through the Quere and Kediv system in the Masoretic text. The Kediv calls him Jewel, while the Quere calls him Jeel. Ajil is recorded as a Levite in the time of Hezekiah. This figure's name is affected by variant readings preserved through the Quere and Kediv system in the Masoretic text. The Kediv calls him Jewel, while the Quere calls him Jeel. The revised version calls him Jewel, following the Kediv. A Jeel is recorded as a leader in the tribe of Levi in time of Uzziah according to 2 Chronicles 35 verse 9. In a list of returnees to Yehud Medinata after the end of the Babylonian captivity, Ajil is recorded as being the head of a group of relatives according to Ezra chapter 8 verse 13. The revised version calls him Jewel. Ajil, of the descendants of Nebo, is listed as one of the people opposing marriage to foreign women in the time of Nehemiah. Topic. Jechamim. 
Jechamim son of Hebron is mentioned in passing in two genealogical passages. Jechamiah Jechamiah is the name of two individuals in the Hebrew Bible. Jechamiah son of Shalem, son of Sismai, son of Elisa, son of Helaz, son of Azariah, son of Jehu, son of Obed, son of Aflal, son of Zabad, son of Nathan, son of Atay, son of Jarha, the son-in-law and slave of Shishan, son of Ishi, son of Apim, son of Nadab, son of Shammai, son of Onam, son of Jeremiel, the alleged ancestor of the Jeremielites. Jechamiah, a son of Jeconiah, the last king of Judah, who was taken captive by the Babylonians. Jecholia See Jecholia Jecuthiel Jecuthiel, father of Zenoah, appears in 1 Chronicles 4 verse 18, in a genealogical passage concerning the tribe of Judah. Jemima Jemima, meaning dove, was a daughter of Job according to Job chapter 42 verse 14. Topic: <inaudible> Jemuel. Jemuel was a son of Simeon according to Genesis chapter 46 verse 10, Exodus chapter 6 verse 15, and Numbers chapter 26 verse 12. He was one of the 70 souls to migrate to Egypt with Jacob. Jephunneh Jephunneh is a biblical name which means, for whom a way is prepared, and was the name of two biblical figures, a descendant of Judah, and father of Kenaz and Caleb the spy or scout, who appears to have belonged to an Edomitish tribe called Kenizzites, from Kenaz their founder. See Numbers chapter 13 verse 6 etc., Num, 32-12 etc., Josh 14-14 14, 14 etc., 1 Chr 4-15. A descendant of Asher, eldest of the three sons of Jether 1 Chronicles chapter 7 verse 38. Topic. Jera Jera was a son of Joktan according to Genesis chapter 10 verses 26, 1 Chronicles 1-20. Topic. Jeremy Jeremy, one of the descendants of Hashem, is a figure who appears only in Ezra chapter 10 verse 33, where he is listed among the men who married foreign women. Topic. Jeriah See Jeriah Topic. Jeriath Jeriath was a wife of Caleb according to 1 Chronicles chapter 2 verse 18. Topic: Jeriel. Jeriel, son of Tola, son of Issachar, is found in a genealogy of the tribe of Issachar in 1 Chronicles chapter 7 verse 2. Topic: Jeria. Jeriah sometimes Jeriah is listed as one of the sons of Hebron in genealogical passages in 1 Chronicles chapter 23 verse 19, 24, 23, 26 to 31. Topic: Jerisha. Jerisha or Jerisha, the daughter of Zadok, was according to the 2 Kings chapter 15 verse 33 and 2 Chronicles chapter 27 verse 1, the mother of King Jotham of Judah. Topic: Jesbi. See Ishbi Benob. Topic: Jeshaya. Jeshaya may refer to multiple figures in the Bible. A descendant of David, the father of Rephaiah, and the son of Ananiah in 1 Chronicles 3 verse 21. One of eight sons of Jeduthun in 1 Chronicles 25 verse 3. For the man in 1 Chronicles 24 and 26 who is sometimes called Jeshaiah, see Josiah. 
Jeshur Jeshur the son of Caleb is mentioned only in 1 Chronicles 2 verse 18. Jeshishai Jeshishai is a figure mentioned only once, in passing, in a genealogy of Gad. Jeshahiah Jeshahiah appears in a list of names of Simeonites. According to Chronicles these Simeonites took pasture land from descendants of Ham and the Munim during the time of King Hezekiah. According to Thomas Kelly Shane, the name is a corruption of Maseya. Topic: <inaudible> Jesamiel. Jesamiel appears in a list of names of Simeonites. According to Chronicles, these Simeonites took pasture land from descendants of Ham and the Munim during the time of King Hezekiah. According to Thomas Kelly Shane, the name is a corruption of Maseel. Topic. <inaudible> Jesu See Ishvi Topic Jewel Jewel son of Zerah appears in a list of people living in Jerusalem after the end of the Babylonian exile For four other individuals who are sometimes called Jewel and sometimes Jeel See Jeel Topic Jush Jush is the name of four or five individuals mentioned in the Hebrew Bible. Jush son of Esau. A variant manuscript reading, known as Kediv, calls him Jeish. Jush son of Bilan, son of Jediel, the son of Benjamin, mentioned in a genealogy which describes the people of the tribe of Benjamin. Jush son of Eshek, who is mentioned in a genealogy of the tribe of Benjamin. According to the Encyclopedia Biblica, this is likely a reference to the same person called Jush son of Bilan. The King James Version calls him Jehush. Jush son of Shimei represented a division of Levites according to 1 Chronicles 23 verses 10-11. Jush son of King Rehoboam. Jezebel Jezebel was a false prophetess whom Jesus warned the church in Thyatira not to follow. She encouraged her followers to be promiscuous and to eat food sacrificed to idols. Jesus gave her a chance to repent of her sins, but she did not, thus, Jesus promised to punish her see Revelation chapter 2 verses 20-23. Jezer Jezer was a son of Naphtali according to Genesis chapter 46 verse 24 and Numbers chapter 26 verse 49. He was one of the 70 persons to migrate to Egypt with Jacob. According to Numbers he was the progenitor of the Jezerites. Topic: <inaudible> Jezia. See Isaiah. Topic: <inaudible> Jezor. See Izar. Topic Jezrahia. See Izrahia. Topic Jezreel. One of the sons of the father of Etam, according to First Chronicles chapter four verse three. Topic Jibsam. Cibsam. Topic Jidlaf. Jidlaf was the son of Nahor and Milka. Genesis chapter 22, verse 22. Topic Jimna. Jimna or Jimna was a son of Asher, according to Genesis chapter 46, verse 17, and Numbers chapter 26, verse 44. He was one of the seventy souls to migrate to Egypt with Jacob. Topic: <inaudible> Jishui. Jishui was the second son of King Saul, mentioned in Saul's genealogy in 1 Samuel chapter 14, verse 49. He is called Abinadab in 1 Chronicles chapter 8, verse 33 and 9:39.
Topic: <laughs> Joahaz. For either of the biblical kings' names Jehoahaz or Joahaz, see Jehoahaz of Israel or Jehoahaz of Judah. Joahaz, according 2 Chronicles 34 verse 8, was the name of the father of Josiah's scribe Joah. Joash This entry is about the four minor biblical characters named Joash. For the kings named Joash or Jehoash, see Jehoash of Israel and Jehoash of Judah. Joash, an abbreviated name of Jehoash, is the name of several figures in the Hebrew Bible. Joash, an Abiarite of the tribe of Manasseh, was the father of Gideon according to Judges chapters 6–8. His family was poor and lived in Ophrah. After Gideon tore down the altar of Baal and cut down the grove, the men of Ophrah sought to kill Gideon. Joash stood against them, saying, he that will plead for Baal, let him be put to death whilst it is yet morning, if he be a god, let him plead for himself, because one hath cast down his altar." A Joash is described as, "...the king's son," in the time of Ahab. According to Stanley Arthur Cook, it is uncertain whether he was the son of King Ahab, or whether, "...king's son," was a title used high officers. Joash is described as one of the sons of Shalah son of Judah son of Jacob in a genealogy of the tribe of Judah. A Joash is named as one of the Benjamite warriors to came to the aid of David when he went to Ziklag. Job Job or Jashub was a son of Issachar according to Genesis chapter 46 verse 13, Numbers chapter 26 verse 24 and 1 Chronicles chapter 7 verse 1. He was one of the seventy souls to migrate to Egypt with Jacob. <laughs> Jobab Jobab is the name of at least five men in the Hebrew Bible. A son of Joktan according to Genesis chapter 10 verse 29 and 1 Chronicles chapter 1 verse 23. Jobab ben Zerah, a king of Edom according to Genesis chapter 36 verse 33 and 1 Chronicles chapter 1 verse 44. King of Maiden, one of the kings who fought against Israel in Joshua chapter 11. A son of Shaharaim and Hodesh according to 1 Chronicles chapter 8 verse 9. A son of Elpal according to 1 Chronicles chapter 8 verse 18. Topic: <inaudible> Jod. Jod is the name of a man mentioned in passing as being an ancestor of Salu, a Benjamite in the time of Nehemiah. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Joel. Joel is the name of several men in the Hebrew Bible the firstborn son of the prophet Samuel. According to 1 Samuel chapter 8, Joel and his brother Abijah were appointed by Samuel to be judges in Beersheba, in the south of Israel, while he continued to judge in Ramah. However, Joel and Abijah, "...walked not in his ways, but turned aside after lucre, and took bribes, and perverted judgment," prompting the Israelites to demand that Samuel give them a king. Josephus says that, Resigning his office to his sons, he divided the people between them, and placed them in Bethel and Beersheba." A statement which the Cambridge Bible for Schools and Colleges suggests, "...is probably his own conjecture." An ancestor of Samuel mentioned in 1 Chr 621. A Simeonite prince 1 Chr 435. A Reubenite, father of Shemaiah 1 Chr 5-4-8. A Gadite chief, 1 Chr 512. A chief of Issachar, 1 Chr 7 to 3. One of David's mighty men, indicated as the brother of Nathan, 1 Chr 1138. A Gershonite, a prince in the time of David, Chronicles 15 to 7, 23 to 8, 26 to 22. Son of Pediah, a Manassite chief in the time of David, 1 Chr 27 to 20. A Kohathite in the time of Hezekiah 2 Chr 29-12. One of those who married foreign wives Ezra chapter 10 verse 43. Son of Zikri, a Benjamite overseer after the exile Nehemiah chapter 11 verse 9. Topic. Jola 
Jola, in 1 Chronicles 12 verse 7, is listed as one of the Benjamite warriors who went to David at Ziklag. Djoser Djoser, according to 1 Chronicles 12 verse 6, is the name of one of the Benjamite warriors who came to the aid of David when he went to Ziklag in Philistine territory due to the hostility of King Saul. Jogli Jogli was the father of Bucky, a prince of the tribe of Dan, Num, 34–22 Johanan son of Caria Johanan Hebrew, God is merciful Son of Caria was among the officers who survived the destruction of Jerusalem and exile of Judeans by the king of Babylon. He warned Gedaliah, the governor, of a plot to kill him, but was ignored. Jeremiah 47 ff. Joyavib Joyavib, God will contend, is the name of two biblical persons. Ancestor of Masaya the son of Barak, who was one of those to resettle Jerusalem after the return from Babylonia, nay, 11-5 The head of a family of priests at the time of the return from Babylonia, nay, 12-6 He was one of the men of understanding, sent by Ezra to Iddo in order to procure men to minister in the temple, Ezr, 8-16 His son was Jediah, one of the priests to resettle Jerusalem, nay, 11-10 The head of the family at the time of Joachim was Matani, nay, 12-19 Jochum Jochum is listed as one of the descendants of Shelah, son of Judah, son of Jacob, in 1 Chronicles chapter 4 verse 22. Topic: <inaudible> Jonam. The father of Joseph and son of Hashtag #Eliakim. Topic: <inaudible> Jonathan son of Abiathar. Jonathan was a son of Abiathar the priest, 2 Samuel chapter 15 verse 27, and served as a messenger during Absalom's rebellion, 2 Samuel chapter 15 verse 36, 1717. Topic: <laughs> Jonathan son of Caria. Jonathan, Hebrew, God gave Son of Caria was among the officers who survived the destruction of Jerusalem and exile of Judeans by the king of Babylon. He was brother to Johanan Q. V. Jeremiah chapter 40 verse 8. Topic: <laughs> Joram. The son of Matthat and father of Eleazar. Topic: <laughs> Joseph. Joseph, father of Igal Joseph of the house of Issachar was the father of Igal, a scout sent to Canaan prior to the crossing of the Jordan River according to Numbers 13 verse 7. Joseph, father of Judah The father of Hashtag Judah and son of Jonam Joshua Joshua son of Amaziah is mentioned only once in the Bible, where is listed among Benjamite leaders in 1 Chronicles 4 verse 34. He is one of several clan leaders who, according to Chronicles, were involved in exterminating the descendants of Ham and the Munim, and taking their pasture lands. Joshavia Joshavia son of Elnam is a biblical figure who appears only in 1 Chronicles 11 verse 46, in a listing of David's mighty warriors. Joshbekashah Joshbekashah appears as one of the sons of Heman in a passage which describes the musicians of the Jerusalem temple in the time of David. Joshibia. 
Joshibia King James version spelling Joshibia is given in 1 Chronicles chapter 4 verse 35 as the father of Jehu, one of the Benjamite clan leaders in the time of Hezekiah who exterminated the descendants of Ham and the Munim and took their farmland. Topic: <laughs> Joshua. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Joshua the Bethshemite. Joshua the Bethshemite was the owner of the field in which the Ark of the Covenant came to rest when the Philistines sent it away on a driverless ox-drawn cart. 1 Samuel chapter 6 verse 14. Topic: <laughs> Joshua the governor of the city. Joshua Hebrew Yoz Yehoshua, God saves, was a city governor in the time of King Josiah of Judah. 2 Kings chapter 23 verse 8. Topic. Joshua, son of Eliezer He was the father of Hashtag Ur. Joshabia See Joshabia Josiphia Josiphia is a name which appears in a list of Ritternees from the Babylonian captivity, where Shelemith son of Josiphia is listed as the leader of the 160 men of the descendants of Bani who returned to Yehud Medinata in the time of Nehemiah. Topic: <laughs> Josabad. Josabad is the name of several individuals mentioned in the Hebrew Bible. For three other individuals with a similar name, see Jehoshabad. Josabad of Gedera is listed as one of David's warriors in 1 Chronicles 12 verse 4. Two men named Josabad from the tribe of Manasseh are listed as warriors of David in 1 Chronicles 12 verse 20. Josabad, according to 2 Chronicle 31-13, was an overseer in the temple at Jerusalem in the time of Hezekiah. A Josabad is described as a Levite leader in 2 Chronicles 35 verse 9. This may be the same individual overseeing the temple in the time of Hezekiah. Josabad son of Joshua is listed as a Levite in the time of Ezra in the time of Ezra chapter 8 verse 33. A Levite Josabad is listed in Ezra chapter 10 verse 22 as having taken a foreign wife. A Levite Josabad is listed as having a foreign wife in Ezra chapter 10 verse 23. This man may be the same as Joshua son of Joshua mentioned above, and or the same as the two individuals below. A Josabad is listed in Nehemiah chapter 8 verse 7 as one of those who helped explain the law to the people of Yehud Medinata. A Josabad is listed as one of the inhabitants of Jerusalem in Nehemiah chapter 11 verse 16. Josachar <inaudible> <inaudible> Josachar Hebrew Ivazakar Yozakar God remembered or Josachar son of Shimith was one of the assassins of King Joash of Judah In 2 Kings chapter 12 verse 21 the Hebrew is Yaubd Yozabad Topic <inaudible> Judah Not to be confused with his ancestor Judah son of Jacob the father of Simeon and son of Joseph Topic. Judas of Straight Street in Damascus When he went blind at his conversion experience, Paul the Apostle stayed at the home of a man named Judas who lived on Straight Street in Damascus. Then, Jesus told Ananias to go to Judas' house and restore Paul's sight see Acts chapter 9 verses 1 to 19. Topic. Julia Julia was a Christian woman at Rome to whom Paul sent his salutations in Romans chapter 16 verse 15, supposed to be the wife of Philologus. <laughs> Jushab Hesed Jushab Hesed is a name which appears in the Hebrew Bible only in 1 Chronicles chapter 3 verse 20, where he is said to be one of the sons of Zerubbabel. K. Topic: Kali. K. 
Talai is named as ancestral head of the priestly house of Salai in the time of Jehoiakim, according to Nehemiah chapter 12 verse 20. Topic: <laughs> Karshina. See Karshina. Topic: <laughs> Kelol. Kelol or Chelol is a person listed in Ezra as among those who married foreign women. Topic: Kalita. Kalita, maiming, was a Levite who assisted Ezra in expounding the law to the people. Nehemiah chapter 8 verse 7, 10, 10. He was also known as Keliah. Ezra chapter 10 verse 23. Topic: Kemuel. Kemuel prince of the tribe of Ephraim, one of those appointed by Moses to superintend the division of Canaan amongst the tribe Num, 34 -24. Karen Hapich Karen Hapich, sometimes spelled Karen Hapich, is the name of Job's third daughter Job chapter 42 verse 14 who was born after prosperity had returned to him. Kaziah Kaziah is the name of Job's second daughter. Kimim See Chimim Kaliah Kaliah, voice of Jehovah is the father of the false prophet Ahab Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 21 It is also the name of an ancestor of Salu that settled in Jerusalem after returning from the Babylonian exile Nehemiah chapter 11 verse 7 Topic See also List of biblical names List of burial places of biblical figures List of major biblical figures List of minor biblical tribes References This article incorporates text from a publication now in the public domain, Easton, Matthew George 1897. Article name needed. Easton's Bible Dictionary New and Revised ed. T. Nelson and Sons.